Welcome to Fanfiction Audiobook. American Comics. Start making Thomas Shadow Tattoo Stickers. Chapter 1. New City. The world's financial center, a bustling modern metropolis, is like a brilliant flower. However, there was indeed a place of rotten stench on the flower. That's the slums of New York City. It's full of gangsters, drug addicts, etc., and crime is rampant. Here, life is not guaranteed, and it may be gone one day. Death wasn't even the worst. In a cramped basement that doesn't see the light of day, a pale, thin Asian teenager sat on the bed. Although the boy looked a little malnourished, his facial features were extremely correct and he was very handsome. In particular, a pair of deep and steady black eyes added a hint of radiance. At the moment, the boy frowned and clenched the bed sheet tightly with both hands. He murmured, unexpectedly, I came to the Marvel world and became an ordinary person. His name is Li Shu, and he is a time traveler. Came across time and became a high school student with the same name and surname, an ordinary person without any super ability or super ability. In this world of fairy fights and super criminals, his start is hell mode. If you are not careful, your life will be gone. Definitely, this is not what Li Shu is most worried about right now. What bothers him the most right now is the local gangs. If you want to survive in the slums, you basically need to join a gang. This was the case in the previous life. He joined a gang called the Viper Gang. The leader of the gang is a super criminal called the Cotton Snake, who has sharp teeth that can bite through steel. The Viper Gang has business dealings with Jin Bin and the Hammer Group, and they are also well known throughout New York City. The former relied on theft to make ends meet and complete gang missions. Originally, life could go on. However, the predecessor was taken by the daughter of a small boss in the gang, so the little boss asked the predecessor to marry the daughter of the other party. Tomorrow is the deadline for reply. As long as the other party's daughter has the level of an ordinary person, the predecessor may follow. It's just that the other party is indeed a bit horrible. This caused the predecessor to be extremely depressed recently, and finally hung up, letting him take over. The appearance of the other party appeared in Li Shu's mind, and his face turned black instantly. Leaving aside the face, the body is only three to four hundred caddies, and this body can be killed by sitting on it. It is absolutely impossible for him to marry the other party. However, even if he refuses, with the style of a gang member, he will definitely fight hard. Therefore, his only way is to escape from this place, escape from New City, and go to a place far away from New City. However, it is also very difficult to escape under the nose of the little boss. Tomorrow is the deadline, even if you want to escape, it will be too late. Thinking of this, Li Shu frowned tightly. At this moment, a crisp sound rang in his ears. Ding. Immediately there was a mechanical voice, bind cosplay item manufacturing system. Li Shu's whole body trembled, his pupils shrank. Immediately, a strong sense of surprise burst out in his eyes system he even has his own system sure enough every traveler has a system and lu cheng will not deceive me it's not in vain that he spent so much money on lu in his previous life li shu took a deep breath and calmed down what role do you have the system replied the host can use the shock value to create a special item for a cosplay character as long as the cuz item is worn the corresponding ability of the cuz character will be obtained the more shock value points you spend, the more powerful the cuz item you create. If the cuz item is given to someone else, the host will get a crit return of up to 10,000 times the relevant ability. At the same time, he will also get all the abilities of the wearer. Note, only when the other party accepts the gift willingly, can the gifting process be truly completed, and the host can obtain a crit return of up to 10,000 times. In addition, the gifted cuz items can only be used and worn by the recipient. Hearing this, Li Shu swallowed a mouthful of saliva. Anyone who cuz can get their ability. This is really too powerful. If cuz Superman, wouldn't he get Superman's ability? Moreover, if you give cuz items to others, you will also get a crit return of up to 10,000 times. In addition, whoever accepts his cuz item and wears it will gain all the abilities of the other party. In other words, he can give cuz items to those who he thinks are powerful or have extremely practical abilities, so that he can obtain the other party's abilities. The function of his system is really too powerful. Infinite surprises welled up in Li Shu's heart, 
and a smile appeared on his face. With this system, he will get rid of a mediocre life and move towards strength and eternity. However, according to the system, in order to create cuz items with powerful power, a large amount of shock value is required. He quickly asked, how to get shock points. The system replied, wear a cuz item, and then cause others to be shocked, and you will get shock points. The stronger the person who is shocked, the more shock points you will get. Hearing this, Li Xu nodded slightly. If you want to maximize the benefits, give cuz items to more superheroes. As a result, you can get a crit return, and you can also get their super ability. Secondly, these superheroes will continue to refresh the shock value by constantly fighting criminals and acting chivalrously. The more people wear cuz items, the more things they can do, and the more shock value they can refresh. The reason why super criminals are not given is because super criminals spend a lot of time in prison, and the shock value is not as good as superhero. Li Xu folded his hands together and placed them in front of him. Now, it is to create the first cuz item through the system to change your own predicament. So he said silently in his heart, System, how much shock value do I have now? The system replied, Currently the host has 1000 shock points given by the system. Every time the exchange is completed, it needs to cool down for a week before it can continue to manufacture. Li Xu continued, create a cuz item with a shock value of 1000. Ding. Spend 1000 shock points to make cuz items, making. Ding. Successfully manufactured. You have obtained a brand new cuz item, shall use ghost tattoo sticker. Ding. This item has a flaw. If you wear it, it will make the wearer more ruthless and brutal. If you want to erase the flaw, you need to spend 5000 shock points. Ding. It's free to erase defects for the first time, and it is automatically erasing item defects. Ding. After erasing, you will get a flawless, shall use ghost tattoo sticker. Ding. The production is complete, and the production function cools down for one week. After one week, the production opportunity will be automatically refreshed. Ding. Do you want to receive cuz items? Seeing the side effect of erasing the tattoo stickers, which would cost 5000 shock points, Li Xu clicked his tongue slightly. The cost of erasing defects is 5 times the cost of manufacturing. On second thought, in other words, the actual value of a flawless tattoo sticker is 6000 shock points. At the same time, a tattoo sticker appeared in Li Xu's mind, and the tattoo pattern was a ferocious ghost head. Relevant information also emerged in his mind. Cuz item shall use ghost tattoo sticker cosplayer chen shall you with the ghost rune on it from the world the adventures of jackie chan special ability one summon ghost shadow core special ability two you can freely transform into the queen of darkness obtain the powerful demon's body and master the corresponding ghost ability the stronger the original dark force the more and stronger the summoned oniing how to use Stick the tattoo on the skin to form a ghost spell. He knew about Xiao Yu's tattoo stickers. In the original book, through this, Xiao Yu transformed into the Queen of Darkness and summoned the Ghost Army. The Ghost Shadow Core is a group of ninjas condensed from the darkness, immortal and quick moving. Master excellent fighting skills, carry a variety of weapons, and be able to use them skillfully. Every Oniying ninja is considered a fighting master, definitely. Facing the abnormal fighter like Jackie Chan in the anime, he is naturally not an opponent. After all, the son of the plane who can fly over walls, climb tall buildings with his bare hands, and blast giant demons away with one punch. Facing normal fighting masters, these ghost ninjas are almost invincible. Even with a large number of people, it can be won by an ordinary superhero. Plus, these guys are pretty smart too. In the original book, Xiao Yu's errands are for these guys to wash clothes and sweep the floor, cook and do homework. The nannies are not as sweet as these guys. Li Xu said silently in his heart, extract. Next moment, Xiao Yu tattoo stickers appeared in his hand. Looking at Xiao Yu's tattoo sticker, Li Xu understood that if he wanted to maximize his benefits, he would give it to a superhero. So who to give it to? Li Xu flipped through the memories of his predecessor. Soon, the corner of his mouth twitched, and his face turned slightly black. Now, the only superheroes born in the Avengers Alliance are Iron Man and Green Titan. Let alone Iron Man, it's hard to see this guy. 
And this guy is very stinky. If you give it to the other party, the other party will basically ignore it and treat it as a child's prank or something. As for the Green Titan, he has not yet become the superhero of the Avengers Alliance, and is now in a state of disappearance. He guesses that he should avoid the military's pursuit abroad. It is impossible for him to find each other. As for the superheroes other than the Avengers Alliance, even if there is a report in the newspaper, he doesn't know the address of the other party at all, and it is too difficult to send it out before tomorrow. Li Shu rubbed his slightly sore temples. Do you want to give this thing to super criminals? But super criminals are either lunatics or underworld bosses, and they will basically ignore a teenager's tattoo stickers, and even risk their lives. Just when he was having a headache, a figure flashed in his mind. A nimble and graceful figure. Wearing black and white with pink tights, rippling in the city. Ghost Spider, Gwen. Li Shu murmured, I didn't expect that there are ghost spiders in this Marvel world. The reason why he thought of the ghost spider was not only because she appeared in this world, but also because there was a girl named Gwen Stacy in his class. Blonde hair, pretty face, graceful figure. Excellent grades, good mind, and focus on science, more maverick. Moreover, his father is the chief of the New York City Police Department. Combining these information together, this Gwen is not the version of Spider-Man, but the version of Ghost Spider. Thinking of this, a smile appeared on Li Shu's face. That's her. Ghost Spider Gwen. Isn't it normal to send something between classmates? It just so happened that, as a high school student, he had to go to school today. Thinking of this, Li Shu put the tattoo stickers into the inside pocket of his clothes. Then he picked up a few books and walked out of the basement room. He glanced back at the basement room, and murmured, Soon, I will move out of this crappy place. After speaking, he left here without looking back. After going out, I met several gang members on the road and often bullied the former members. They all said viciously, Don't try to escape from here, the eyes of the Viper gang are always on you. Don't ask for trouble. For these people, Li Shu passed by blankly and ignored them. He understood that these young people dare not do anything to him now, after all, he still has the identity of a prospective son-in-law. Wait for Li Shu to go a little further. The little ones all spit. It's so arrogant. If this is done before, I won't beat him out of shit. Trash, only fit to ride a tank. Laughing to death, I don't know how many months he can last. Last time, the man that tank fell in love with didn't live under her for two months before belching his fart. Ha 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 ha, I think this kid has the same experience. He'd better find a way to escape today, and then get caught and dealt with severely. Get shit out. With his sensitive hearing, Li Shu heard the voice behind. He was still expressionless, but his eyes were slightly cold. Soon, Li Shu came to New City National High School, his bad mood was swept away, and he felt a little excited. After all, this will be the first step for him to change himself, and also the first step to get rid of the predicament. His own plan emerged in his mind, and a smile filled his eyes. What's the fastest way to build a good relationship with someone? Helping others. Wrong. It is about letting others help you. People often have the greatest kindness for those they help. In the campus cafeteria, a blonde girl with fair skin walked in. The other party has pretty features, with a slight trace of baby fat, and gold-rimmed glasses, adding a touch of coolness. Tall, well-proportioned, and full of youthfulness, she belongs to the top class of beautiful girls. It was Gwen who came. Li Shu looked at it, his eyes lit up slightly. He glanced at them, then turned his eyes away, walked aside, picked up the dinner plate and lined up for dinner. Plan, start. A buffet of 10 United States dollars, that is 60 or 70 soft sister coins, 1 20th of his assets. For Li Shu who is now impoverished, he still has a little heartache. The predecessor almost never ate in the canteen, simply because he couldn't afford it. If it wasn't for the tattoo stickers, Li Shu wouldn't come here, just buy a few cents of bread and solve it. At this moment, two burly boys with slightly fierce faces appeared with dinner trays and came to the front of the queue. One of them glared at a girl in front of him, waved his hand, and shouted, Later a little bit, we also want to cook. At first glance, they looked like two school bullies. Seeing that the two wanted to jump in line, the people behind dared not speak up for fear of getting angry. The girl backed away timidly. Seeing this, Gwen frowned slightly. 
Seeing that no one came out to help the girl out, and no one stopped the other party's behavior of jumping in line, a trace of disappointment flashed in his eyes. Just when she just took a step, another person was faster than her. A thin boy walked towards the two of them. The other party's voice was deep and powerful, and there was a trace of calmness and righteousness on his handsome and pale face. Others are queuing up hard, why do you jump in line? Also, why do you two big boys bully a girl? The school is also in order. If you still want to continue, I can only report to the school and let the school handle it. Although the young man was thin, his figure was extraordinarily tall and straight, his eyes were extraordinarily bright, as if his bones were full of justice. Seeing the boy who stood up, Gwen's eyes brightened slightly. When the other people saw this, they also opened their mouths. I didn't expect classmate Shu to be so brave. That's right, I didn't expect that he is not only handsome, but also has such a good heart. However, I feel that Hugh will be dealt with. After all, the opponent is so big and looks very difficult to mess with. He seems to be from the basketball team. I also think that after all, the people who jump in line are very aggressive people. As expected, the burly boy glared, you are looking for death. How dare you meddle in our affairs? After speaking, he raised his fist the size of a sandbag and slammed it into the boy's stomach. When Li Xu saw this, his eyelids trembled slightly, but his expression remained unafraid. Just when the fist was about to fall on Li Xu, a slender hand stretched out and easily grasped the fist. A beautiful figure came to Li Xu's side. A faint scent of virginity mixed with the scent of shampoo entered Li Xu's nostrils, and it smelled very nice. It was Gwen who came. She slightly raised her head to look at Li Xu, showing a smile, with two cute pear dimples. You are very brave, leave it to me. After she finished speaking, she looked at the burly boy, her small face was serious, and her voice was crisp and clear, you either have to line up carefully, or don't eat and leave the cafeteria. After finishing speaking, she exerted a little force with her small hands. The burly boy on the opposite side gritted his teeth slightly, as if he was enduring something. But in the eyes of outsiders, they thought the boy knew about Gwen's background, so he prepared to grit his teeth and endure this. In fact, it's a real pain in the hands of boys. The boy said, forget it, you guys eat, we are not hungry anymore. After speaking, he prepared to leave here with his companions. It turned out that the opponent's small hands were like iron hoops. Gwen raised her snow white swan neck slightly, obviously looking up, but it gave the impression that she was someone overlooking. She said, don't provoke Zio in the future. Gwen's voice was crisp, with a hint of incredulity. In order to prevent the other party from retaliating against Li Shu, Gwen gave a warning. The burly boy took a breath, nodded, and immediately left the cafeteria with his companions. Seeing the other party go, Gwen snorted proudly. Two little guys, not worth mentioning. She immediately looked at Li Shu, and smiled sweetly again. It's okay, classmate Hugh. Li Shu also showed a smile, thank you, Gwen. Successfully established friendly contacts. Very good, the plan is more than half successful. Gwen looked at Li Shu's dinner plate and said, it happens that I want to eat too, let's eat together. Li Shu smiled refreshingly, okay. Immediately, the two lined up for dinner together, chatting slightly about campus and study matters. Others looked at it and were envious. The two were really right. Indeed. Handsome men and beautiful women match well. After eating, the two found a place to sit down. Li Xu forked a chicken leg from his own plate, and placed it generously on Gwen's plate. He smiled and said, Reciprocity, you helped me, this chicken leg is my thank you. If the relationship wants to be refined, it needs pulling and interaction. Definitely, the reason must be very sufficient, and the attitude must be generous and not twitchy, so that it is not easy to make others feel disgusted. He didn't take out the tattoo stickers without at the moment, the time hadn't come yet. When two people establish a relationship, they send a tattoo sticker to each other. The other party will definitely feel a little strange, and may accept the sticker, but may not use it. He still needs the other party to use it, and refresh the shock value. Gwen looked at the big chicken legs on her plate with a bright smile and a generous smile, haha, then I'll accept your chicken legs. As she said that, she took a bite, her mouth was full of oil, and her eyes were bent into crescent moons, hee hee, it's quite delicious. 
The Gwenev at the moment is in stark contrast to the slightly coldness when we first met. Maybe it's because they already regard Li Shu as a friend. Li Shu looked at the considerable amount of food on Gwen's dinner plate, and joked, it seems that Gwen has a very good appetite. The food is like a hill, and even eats more than the average boy. Gwen bit the chicken leg, with a little pride on her face. That's right, I can eat it quite well. Li Shu couldn't help but laugh. You are quite proud. Li Shu found that Gwen was really cute, completely different from the cold and independent girl in her previous memory. It should be because of the closer relationship between the two. After all, Gwen is usually doing her own thing, and others can't get involved in her small world at all. Unless there is another way, like him. To be honest, Li Shu is a little moved by a girl with such a cute personality. Ahem, definitely, she looks beautiful and has a good figure. Soon, the two swept up the food. Li Shu also basically let go of eating. After all, his predecessor usually lacked nutrition and was almost always in a state of not getting enough to eat. During the time he took over this body, he didn't eat at all, and he was really hungry. Definitely, even if he let go of eating, Li Shu still behaved calmly, but the food decreased rapidly. Seeing that Li Shu's appearance is very real when eating, Gwen likes him even more. Unlike ordinary boys, who are coy and put on airs. After dinner, Gwen's big eyes were full of inspiration. Hugh, I'm going back to the classroom to review some homework. Do you want to go back to the classroom with me? Definitely together, after all, his things haven't been sent yet. The time is almost up, and the next step is to send out the cuz items. Li Shu continued, let's go, I will also review what I said yesterday. The two walked out of the cafeteria side by side. After the interaction just now, the relationship between the two went further. They talked and laughed along the way, no longer talking about study or campus, but also talking about some interesting things in life. Li Shu understood that the time had come. So, when passing through a grove with almost no trace of people, Li Shu smiled and said, Gwen, just now you helped me so that I didn't make a fool of myself in front of my classmates. I want to give you a small gift. Gwen blinked her big eyes, didn't you just give me chicken legs? Li Shu laughed, I was afraid you wouldn't have enough to eat, so I gave it to you. Hearing this, Gwen rolled her beautiful eyes. She doesn't understand the white eyes of beautiful women at all, they often have their own style and charm. Even a man like Li Shu, who had been bombarded by countless beauties on internet TV in his previous life, couldn't help being stunned. She snorted coquettishly, thank you for your kindness. Li Shu smiled and walked along, we are all friends, no thanks. There was a smile on Gwen's face, she raised her chin slightly, and said a little arrogantly, okay, I accept your little gift. As she spoke, she spread out her fair and slightly pink beautiful hands. He showed a mysterious smile, my little gift is not simple. Hearing this, there was a trace of curiosity in Gwen's eyes. Li Shu took out the tattoo sticker from his arms and put it on Gwen's little hand. His hand touched Gwen's too. Soft, with a touch of cool, very good touch. Looking at the things in her hands, Gwen's eyes widened. Hugh. Is this a sticker for children? Immediately she pissed smiled. Hugh, are you kidding me? You gave me a hideous ghost head, is this something for girls? Gwen was angry and funny, puffed her cheeks slightly, and looked at Li Shu. To be honest, Li Shu really wanted to poke Gwen's slightly baby fat face, but he knew it was not the time yet. He shook his index finger, this is not a sticker for children. It is a rune, which comes from the Far East. My grandfather once studied in Kunlun Mountain and got this rune. Li Shu's expression was slightly serious, and his tone was calm and powerful, not at all like lying or joking. Coupled with the good influence before, Gwen Rang unconsciously believed him. As for the predecessor, when the grandfather was studying in Kunlun, it was definitely Li Shu who made the nonsense, in order to better convince Gwen. Li Shu continued, those who have a kind heart and represent justice will resonate with it and gain its power. Over the years, I have never met anyone who resonates with it. When you strike, I find it resonates. You've always been the one who really stands for justice. If you want to test the authenticity, you only need to have it printed on your body, as long as you can use special powers. It means that you are really a person who represents justice and a person who really wants to be a hero. 
Li Shu talked nonsense for a while, he felt that he was going to be convinced by himself, after all, it was well founded, and he also gave the stickers a proper name. The two are already friends now, and there is a high probability that the other party will not reject him. Even if he has some doubts, he will give it a try. As long as you try, you will gain the power of the Shadow Army. In addition, Gwen is originally a superhero representing justice, which forms a logical closed loop, which makes the whole thing extremely reasonable and makes Gwen trust him more. After hearing Li Xu's words, Gwen looked at the sticker, and then at Li Xu's sincere face. There was still a trace of suspicion in her small eyes. She was a little skeptical that he would not try to trick her. But she smacked her mouth a bit, then let me try. Finished. She tore off the tattoo sticker, thought about it, and stuck the tattoo a little on her ankle. Because she was wearing slacks, Gwen pulled up a portion of her pants, revealing her streamlined and healthy calves, which were white and slender, extremely beautiful. Li Xu touched his nose. Xiao Yu also put the tattoo on the same place, do girls like to put ghost tattoos on their feet? Then, on the white calf, a black and ferocious grimace appeared. I don't know if it's a good-looking person, or what. The calf printed with the ghost spell is quite nice, and even more white, and even a bit cool. Gwen pursed her mouth, sure enough, Hugh, you are just playing tricks. The girl was not angry, but pouted like a child, which showed that the girl was indeed getting closer to Li Xu. It's just not finished. Gwen's pupils turned red, and the light of blood flowed in them, and the whole person looked strange and charming. Li Xu clicked his tongue slightly, he was good looking, and he really looked good no matter what he did. At this moment, Gwen felt a strange power being mastered by him. She thought about it. From the shadows of the two, two masked ninjas in black emerged, their eyes glowing red. As soon as they came out, the two ninjas knelt in front of Gwen on one knee, with a humble posture, as if they were facing a king. Seeing this, Gwen's eyes widened. She can clearly feel the connection between herself and the ninja, and she can also feel a dark world, where there are many same ninjas, following her orders. That place is called the Shadow Kingdom. Information about the Ghost Shadow Core also flooded into her mind. At the same time, she has also mastered the power of Shadow, and can transform into the Queen of Darkness, the commander of the Shadow Kingdom. She thought about it. The whole person changes. Her skin turned purple, and two naughty little horns appeared on her forehead. Her facial features remained the same, but her overall temperament became more enchanting, and her figure became more mature and plump. The soles of the feet left the ground and were suspended in midair. There was a powerful and cold aura exuding from the whole person. A stronger physical force surged out from the depths of his body. Feel the new power, feel the relevant information. Gwen's pupils were shaking, and he gasped, his mind was shocked by huge amounts of shock. She looked at Li Xu, her voice stuttering, Hugh, Hugh, this rune really has mysterious power. She originally thought that Zio was playing tricks, but unexpectedly, what Zio said was true. And this power is more powerful and magical than she imagined. It was completely beyond her imagination. After Gwen used the power, the sound of the system sounded in Li Xu's ears again. Ding. Gwen successfully wore Xiao Yu's ghost tattoo sticker. Ding. Trigger the highest multiplier crit, 10,000 times crit. The host has obtained the holy master template with the power of the complete 12 spells. Ding. It is detected that Gwen possesses the spider ability. The host obtains the same level of spider ability. Have you received all the rewards? Hearing the voice in his ears, Li Xu's heart was full of waves. He didn't expect that his first wave directly triggered a 10,000 times critical strike. And got the Holy Master template with the power of the complete 12 spells. The power of the complete 12 spells is simply not too perverted. Not to mention other things, just the inability of the dog spell, it is abnormal to the extreme. The mortal, Li Xu feels that this wave of himself is simply the living emperor of Europe. Not to mention other extremely powerful spell powers, such as power invisibility, flight healing, blasting laser, etc., they are simply omnipotent. In addition, the Holy Master was originally one of the eight great demons, the Lihuo demon, who is also very powerful, and also controls other flames in the world, and is immune to flames. He also mastered the flame of the devil, burning everything and burning the soul. Compared with the reward for the 10,000 times critical strike, 
Gwen's originally spider ability is a little mediocre. Definitely, spider telepathy is pretty good. It can perceive danger and warn in advance. Although he is not dead, he can still be sealed, and it is never a big mistake to be careful. Moreover, he remembered that the development of the ghost spider to a certain extent, and the ability to travel through the multi-universe are also very good. Li Shu was extremely satisfied with this wave, he really made a lot of money. However, Li Shu didn't receive it directly, after all, he didn't know if there would be any changes after receiving it. When he was ready to be alone, he received his reward. With this reward, the rock that Li Shu had been hanging on slightly dropped slightly. After all, in this extremely dangerous world, it is easy to die at any time. Now, with the dog charm, immortality, there is the most basic guarantee. At the same time, his troubles will soon be gone. On the contrary, if he has no troubles, then some people will have troubles. He sneered in his heart. Immediately, his attention fell on the levitating Gwen. Purple delicate skin, two lovely jade-like horns on the forehead, exquisite facial features, scarlet pupils, and a ripe peach-like figure. Twigs hang great fruits. The whole person looks extremely feminine, like a succubus from hell. Seeing that, Li Xu's throat felt slightly dry. Rao even Li Xu thinks that his concentration is relatively strong, but he also feels that he can't stand it. Seeing Gwen's horrified expression, a smile appeared on the corner of Li Xu's mouth. This is the power of the Dark Queen and the Ghost Shadow Core, so it is naturally extremely extraordinary. Further excavation will definitely become stronger. With the addition of spider ability, Gwen's strength will have a big leap. Hearing Gwen's stuttering voice, Li Xu said with a smile, I definitely won't lie to you. All right, let's change back to human form, it's too ostentatious. As he spoke, he naturally stretched out his hands, took Gwen's cold and soft hands, and pulled them down. This intimate contact made Li Xu's heart flutter slightly. At the same time, Gwen's heart fluttered slightly. Intimate contact between the opposite beauty will shorten the distance between the two people more quickly, which can also be called physical ice breaking. This is also the reason why I often like the same table when I was in school, because of the frequent physical contact. That's why Li Xu stretched out his hands. Definitely, the premise is that you have a certain liking for the other party. Otherwise, it may be counterproductive. Gwen fell to the ground, and her whole body returned to normal, turning back into that youthful girl again. It's just that in the depths of Bebo's eyes, there is still an imperceptible red light overflowing. This is because the ghost shadow core is still dispatched. When Gwen came down, Li Shu let go of his hand, grasping the scale is very important. It's just a friend stage, holding other people's hands all the time will definitely cause other people's displeasure. Unless the relationship goes a step further, reaching more than friends, and the ambiguous stage of romance, you can always hold and warm up the relationship. With a wave of Gwen's hand, the two ninjas quickly began to fight, their movements were fierce and fast, it was like a duel between two master fighters. Then the two ninjas separated, and with a single leap, they jumped into the canopy of the big tree, and their jumping ability was astonishing. Seeing this, Gwen clicked her tongue slightly. The ninja of the ghost shadow core is stronger than she imagined. She waved again. Like water, the ninja melted into the shadows and disappeared. At this time, Gwen's eyes returned to normal. The pitch black ghost marks on the feet also disappeared, and it seemed that only by using the power of shadows would they appear. Gwen opened her mouth slightly, was stunned for a while, and then said, The ghost core is too strong, and I feel that with my current strength, I can summon a hundred or so ninjas. Immediately, Gwen touched her white forehead, and said a little confused, By the way, Hugh, you said that this mark can only be used by righteous people. But why, I feel that the appearance after the transformation is weird, purple skin, two small horns, a bit like a devil, and this power gives people a cold and dark feeling, this is really justice the power used by the warriors. Definitely not, it's demon power. Li Xu muttered inwardly. But of course he couldn't say it. Li Xu said seriously, this is naturally the power of justice. Do you think the power of shadows is evil? Do you feel that your heart has become cold and cruel? Gwen shook her head like a rattle. Li Xu nodded, that's right. You are using the power of shadow, which is a great power, but shadows are always cooler, so it is normal to feel cold. 
As for the appearance, isn't it just purple skin with small horns? In fact, there are many strange alien creatures in the universe. Appearance does not determine good or bad, but thinking determines good or bad. Gwen's eyes widened, like a curious baby, are there really many aliens in the universe? So many scientists haven't proved it yet. Li Shu coughed. You know, I have a grandfather who learned the mysterious side power from Kunlun Shenshen. He knows more about the truth of this world, and he told me a little bit. Gwen nodded, now she firmly believed in Li Shu's words. Gwen originally wanted to ask about some aliens. But she thought of something, and immediately looked at Li Shu with a serious face. Hugh, the little gift you gave me is too expensive. It is not proportional to what I gave you. Gwen's parents taught her since she was a child to be independent and self-reliant, not to take advantage of others, and to repay the benefits given by others in proportion. Especially when you get along with boys, you must stick to this point. Hearing Gwen's words, Li Shu laughed heartily. The more he gave away, the richer the income, and he got much more than Gwen. Moreover, from now on, Gwen is a tool for him to earn shock points. As long as Gwen works harder to fight criminals, save people in the city, and make more headlines, he will become richer, exchange for more powerful cause items, and then crit to get better rewards. Then continue to recruit the next tool man. Form a virtuous circle. Zio waved his hand generously, this is the spell that chose you. You can get this power because of your own kindness and justice. So, you have to make good use of this power, do righteous things, and do really great things. This way you won't humiliate this power. Seeing Hugh's attitude, Gwen's favor rose again. After all, it is extraordinary to be able to send this kind of power out so calmly. Hearing Li Xu's words, Gwen Chao nodded seriously. There was a trace of solemnity on that pretty little face. I will, Hugh. I will definitely not disappoint this power, nor will I disappoint your expectations. Gwen continued, however, I still have to repay you, after all, this little gift is too expensive. Seeing the stubborn Gwen, Li Shu laughed heartily. He smiled. Well then, you help me accomplish three things, and we'll settle the matter. Definitely, the matter will definitely not violate legal ethics, nor will it force you to do something disgusting. Li Shu proposed three things, which is to use the agreement to further strengthen the connection between the two. A small agreement between two people is similar to a small secret between two people. At the same time, at certain moments, this agreement can be used to further promote or even sublimate the relationship between the two. If other people saw Li Shu's thousand layer routine, they would just shake their heads, and if a dog passed by, they would have to be tricked out of their wits before they could leave. The current Gwen is very trustworthy in Li Shu, and nodded quickly, okay. Which three things? Li Shu rubbed his chin, I haven't made any plans yet, I'll think about it later. After finishing speaking, he turned around and walked towards the classroom, waving his hand smartly, let's go, let's go to the classroom to do homework. Gwen quickly trotted after her, like a little follower. At this moment, the initiative was completely controlled by Li Shu. If other people in the school saw this scene, their jaws would drop in shock. After all, Gwen is like a goddess to other people, she is cold and independent, when does this happen? Gwen followed Li Shu's side, with curiosity in his eyes, by the way, what kind of aliens are they like? What kind of other planets with life in the universe? Li Shu began to explain to Gwen some aliens in the Marvel Universe, such as Asgard, or the Eternal Race of Thanos, or the hometown of Extraordinary Dragons a planet full of dragons. And some strange races, such as Star-Lord's Godfather Yondu, Tree People, Stone People and so on. Hearing Gwen's eyes flood with fascination. At the same time, Gwen's eyes were full of admiration for Li Shu's extensive knowledge. She felt that Li Shu was shining brightly at this moment, his eyes were like a little girl's. Gwen is like a curious baby, constantly asking Li Shu, and at the same time, her admiration and affection for Li Shu are also rising. Recess time. A hidden place in the school. The three boys stood facing each other. Two of them are burly, and they are the guys who jumped in line before. The other person, thin and handsome, was Li Shu. The burly two both smiled and rubbed their palms together. Brother, it's time to borrow money. Li Shu smiled, and took out two stacks of money from his pocket, and handed them to the two, 
50 United States dollars each, do the math. There is no way, the previous life was poor, and it was full of small change. The two quickly counted, and immediately smiled brightly, okay, the two are settled. One of them said with a smile, it's not in vain that I suffered a bit. He smacked his tongue slightly and said, you don't know, Gwen's hands are so strong and scary, it's really unbelievable. The small palm makes my fist hurt. To be honest, I broke out in a cold sweat at the time, and I was afraid that she would beat me up. Fortunately, she didn't do anything, otherwise I would have been beaten for 50 USD, and I would have really lost money. Li Xu smiled, remember to keep it secret. The strong man made an okay gesture, don't worry, we have professional ethics. The strong man immediately showed admiration in his eyes, brother, others are heroes to save the beauty, you just do it the other way around, and the effect is remarkable. You have successfully approached this beautiful woman, Gwen. It's really cheating. With that said, he gave a thumbs up. The people next to him also nodded, with admiration in their eyes. In their opinion, this operation is too coquettish, but it is so successful. Who is Gwen? That was the top beauty in their school, both her face and her figure were superb. But focusing on biology, etc., is relatively independent, and hardly gets close to people. Result. In a very short time, I talked and laughed with Li Xu. It really shocked their jaws. If they saw Gwen's little follower, asking questions beside Li Xu, with sparkling eyes, they would probably kneel down on the spot, worship Li Xu as a teacher, and learn how to deceive girls. The strong man rubbed his chin, and imagined, find some time, I'll paint a gourd, and find a girl to try. The buddy next to him said, you overlooked a final link. The strong man wondered, what link? The buddy made up the knife, has a handsome face like a Hollywood star. Strong man, looking at these two guys, Li Xu couldn't help but laugh, and put aside singing crosstalk for him. He smiled and waved his hands, it's gone. The two slipped away with money in their pockets. The whole queue jumping incident just happened when Gwen was coming out, so naturally it couldn't be accidental. Everything was designed by Li Xu, mainly to build a relationship with Gwen and get closer. Things went well and he managed to get what he wanted. Li Xu thought of his generous reward, and a smile appeared on the corner of his mouth. After school, Li Xu was not in a hurry to go home, he quietly walked into a small warehouse in the school where there was no one there. There are some sports equipment next to Ogura Curry. The windows were closed, and he quickly locked the door behind him. After doing this, Li Xu's heart was pounding. Because he is about to receive that generous reward. The Holy Master Template with 12 Divine Powers. The strong sense of anticipation almost made Li Xu's heart jump out of his chest. Li Xu quickly took a few deep breaths to calm down slightly. Then I said silently in my heart, receive the reward. Next moment, a majestic and majestic force poured into Li Xu's body. Li Xu felt that his body was getting stronger rapidly. Immediately, he felt as if he had inexhaustible power. It's just pure demon power and the strengthening of the spider ability on his body. And that's just his human state. If he transforms into a Lihuo demon, that is, in the state of the Holy Master, his power will be greatly increased, and the power of the spell will be enhanced, and he will become even more perverted. At the same time, the divine power representing the twelve spells was born and formed in his body. Twelve different supernatural powers flowed in his body. Feeling the formation of the divine power of the twelve spells, Li Xu was very excited. He finally obtained the powerful twelve divine powers. Relevant information also flooded into his mind. Name, Holy Master Template. Twelve divine powers, possess twelve different powerful divine powers. Fire control ability, immune to flames, and can control the flames of the world, and can also explode demonic flames, burning everything, including souls. Transformation. Transform into Lihuo the demon's body, you will have a powerful demon's body, and your 12 divine powers and fire control ability will be greatly improved. There will be no small restrictions on the use of relevant power by the human body. Ghost power. Summon and control the ghost core, and master the ghost ability. You and Gwen's ghost army are independent and do not affect each other. Forgotten magic knowledge. In your mind, there are still some forgotten magic knowledge, try to recall, you will remember them. In addition, you have super high ability in evil magic. 
Feeling the ability he had acquired, a smile appeared on Li Xu's face. But when he saw forgotten knowledge of magic, the corner of his mouth twitched slightly. Dude, forgotten knowledge. In the original book, the Holy Lord has basically forgotten all his knowledge of magic while living in modern times. There is no way, after all, the twelve divine powers are too powerful, so the Holy Lord doesn't care much about magic power. Knowledge of magic, yes. But also no. Fortunately, it can be restored through memory. Li Xu was dumbfounded when he saw the super high ability of evil magic. Li Huo Demon, the former big mage, has powerful evil magic ability, very reasonable. However, this ability, Li Xu always feels weird. Is this going to make him an evil heretic? At the same time, information about the twelve spells flooded into his mind. The dog charm is immortal, forever young, immortal and immortal. For Li Xu, this is the most important divine power, because being alive is everything. Cyclops of pig charms, eyes bursting with laser rays. Needless to say, Cyclops, the standard configuration of Homelander and Superman, are also extremely convenient to use, cutting everything. Random killing. It is simply a must-have for a king. The floating of the chicken charm, control the power of floating, let yourself or others float. The recovery of the horse talisman can remove all influences caused by external forces, and can also cure all diseases. The power of healing is also extremely important, it can remove all negative influences. It is also an extremely important divine skill. If others want to mind control him, or harm him with other powers, they will be completely dispelled by the power of the horse spell. Definitely cures all diseases, and raw meat from bones is also extremely powerful. The invisibility of the snake charm, making oneself and the objects it touches invisible. Stealth is also a good skill, and it will be more convenient to do certain things. However, this invisibility seems to be only the appearance of invisibility. The body temperature and temperature have not changed. It can be seen by the thermal imager and can be smelled. The blasting of the dragon talisman produces a powerful blasting fire beam, which will produce a violent explosion when it is swept by the beam. The balance of the tiger talisman accommodates all forces and does not form conflicts. The tiger talisman balances everything, because with the tiger talisman, the twelve divine powers can be harmoniously placed in a human body, otherwise the twelve divine powers will either fail or explode. The speed of the rabbit spell, bursting with super speed. The power of the bull spell, a powerful burst of power. The speed of the rabbit charm and the strength of the bull charm are both linked to the original strength of the holder. The stronger the original, the stronger the power of these two spells. The shape-shifting animal of the monkey charm can change any object into any animal, but it cannot give life to inanimate objects, and change the shape. The spiritual body projection of the sheep charm, soul astral, can enter other people's dreams and entrust dreams. The rat spell uses stillness to move, to give life to inanimate things, and to make them move still. In the original book, Xiao Yu and the others revive the moose and the mechanical policeman through the mouse charm and it also comes with super ability, which is a good skill. Twelve divine powers, rich and powerful abilities. Feeling the twelve divine powers in his body, Li Xu smiled brightly and felt extremely joyful in his heart. This reward is too powerful. He thought about it. Next moment, his body began to swell, grow dragon scales, and immediately turned into a holy master. The entire dragon body is three to four meters high, almost touching the ceiling of the small warehouse. It looks like a hill, and with the ferocious dragon head, it looks very oppressive. As the body expands, chi chi chi, clothes were all torn. He waved. The power of suspension wrapped the rag and placed it in front of him. He touched it, and the recovery ability of the horse's spell power was activated, and the rags returned to their original appearance. Having done this, he threw the clothes into the shadows, into his kingdom of shadows. It is said to be the kingdom of shadows, but it is actually a dark realm of shadows. For him, the kingdom of shadows is equivalent to a super large storage space, and it is the kind that can be carried with him. Li Xu's dragon head showed a quite satisfied expression. This is simply an upgrade version of the storage ring, and the kind that cannot be discarded. Not bad. Looking at the empty self, he waved his hand and put on a pair of large black samurai pants. 
The pants are condensed by the power of shadow, without other additional functions, just the wearing effect. The power of shadow can condense the shadow core, and naturally it can condense a simple pair of pants. Finish these. He shook the huge dragon claw, and amazing power emerged. Even if the power of the bull charm is not used, the power of the demon's body is extremely amazing, superimposing the power brought by the spider constitution. He felt that he could easily smash a tank, and he could wrestle with the green titan in the early stage. Li Shu grinned, is this the power of the holy lord? It's too powerful. Gently waved a thick finger. Whoosh. The awe-inspiring tearing air sound sounded. Even a finger is full of strength that ordinary people can't imagine. He is full of energy now. It's completely overflowing. He has a feeling that he wants to release it. There is no way, normal people would want to play hard when they get something novel and valuable. For example, when a person buys a supercar for the first time, he must have the urge to go racing. This is the innate desire and impulse of human beings. But Li Shu understands that this small warehouse is not a place for him to unleash his power. If you are not careful, the school may disappear. He returned to human form, and his pants shrank to their proper proportions. A powerful levitation force wraps itself. His whole body floated up. Then the thought moved again, and the whole person disappeared. Stealth. He looked down at his own body, completely invisible. He waved a hand, the force of the levitation pulled the door lock, the door was opened, and he flew out of the small warehouse. Then with a wave of his hand, the door closed again. Finish these. He looked up to the sky and smiled. Whoosh. A burst of tearing air sounds. He rushed to the blue sky. The levitation power of the chicken and the extreme speed of the rabbit, the combination of the two is the extreme speed flight. In the classroom not far away, some students heard a burst of tearing air sounds. They looked out the window and there was nothing, not even the tearing air sounds, as if nothing had happened. The students were confused and shook their heads, what happened? Lu Feng was flying fast, the strong air flow washed over his body, and the sharp whistling sound rang in his ears. But for Lu Feng's current body, these strong air currents can only give him a massage effect, like a strong wind blowing. Feel the endless wind. Lu Feng feels very comfortable, because this is what flight feels like. A carefree and comfortable feeling. Walking against the wind is a dream hidden in the blood of human beings. In flight, Lu Feng released the Holy Lord form again. His speed suddenly increased to a higher level. Boom. There was an ear-piercing and violent explosion. A milky white sonic boom cloud exploded directly on the spot. Pull out a white gas. No one was seen, only a white horse appeared in the air, very strange. Lu Feng shuttled through the sea of clouds, turned freely, was so happy, and soon he rushed out of New City. When Lu Feng was flying fast, the other side, an Iron Man was flying in the sky, heading towards New City. It was Iron Man, who had just flown into a war zone, sabotaged a Ten Rings base, and was on his way home. Whoosh, whoosh, two fighter jets suddenly appeared. Tear the sky, shoots towards Iron Man. The voice of J-A-R-V-I-S sounded, Sir. The area around New York City is a no-fly zone, and your flight has attracted the attention of the Air Force Base. Your actions are illegal and if you are caught, you will go to court. In addition, as an unknown flight object, in order to swear sovereignty by the Air Force, the armor may also be shot down. Hearing this, Iron Man's face turned ugly. At this time, the fighter jets used the radio to inquire about the unidentified flight object appearing in the no-fly area. Because Iron Man is small in size and a little far away, I can't see clearly at all. The other party asked about Iron Man's identity, but Iron Man didn't respond, after all, it was impossible for him to respond. The response is waiting to be prosecuted by the authorities. Seeing that the other side did not respond, the two fighters directly locked on the unknown flight object, and only waited for the base to say a word before bursting into fire and shooting it down. The red alarm light of JARVIS sounded, warning. Warning, sir, you have been locked by fighter jets. You are in an extremely dangerous situation. Please get rid of it immediately. Hearing this, Tony said with a dark face, JARVIS, start the supersonic flight, get rid of them. Yes, sir. Boom. Explode the air and tear the sky at the speed of sound. 
a sonic boom cloud suddenly appeared in place. Then a white horse shot out quickly. Air base. Command room. Suddenly an alarm sounded. Unidentified flight objects break through the speed of sound. Trying to escape our field of vision. Danger, danger. A high-level officer's face was slightly cold. Unidentified flight objects are flying wantonly in our airspace. We simply don't take our army seriously. Shoot them down. The operator quickly passed the information to the front line. Fighting plane ahead, shoot down the unknown flight object. Fighting plane ahead, shoot down the unknown flight object. Fighters receive orders. The fifth generation fighter jet, the most advanced fighter jet at present, is also capable of supersonic flight and can reach 2.25 supersonic speed. At this moment, the two fighters directly exploded their true strength. Boom, boom. The sound of bursting air resounded. Two sonic boom clouds bloom. Like two steel knives, the two fighters shot straight out, chasing after Iron Man. The tearing air sounds piercing the sky. And two white horses flying across the sky. Fighters are fast approaching Iron Man. Seeing the clinging fighter, Tony felt a little dizzy. He couldn't shoot down these two fighter planes, after all, that would be a serious crime. Treason is a super felony with no room for maneuver. Tony looked at the fighter that was about to catch up and had a headache. As the top fighter in the world, Mach 2, even with his current armor, it is impossible to beat the opponent in terms of speed. It is basically impossible to get rid of these two fighters. If I had known earlier, he should have added a stealth function to the armor. Compare that to Tony's headache. The next two fighters are much easier, because they are about to catch up with the unknown flight object. In terms of speed, they have absolute confidence. In this world, nothing flies faster than them. A flight attendant chuckled and said, how dare you fly in the no-fly zone, and still keep silent, you are looking for death. Another flight member said, yes, facing the world's top fighter plane, wanting to escape, it really makes people laugh. Watch me kill this unknown flight object. Just at this time, the alarm suddenly came to mind. A new red dot for rapid flight appears on the radar. Behind them, they are flying towards them at supersonic speed. The flight crew's eyes widened. Shit. It's another supersonic unknown flight object. And it's behind the ass. Are these two enemy planes? Another flight member also had a chill down his spine. After all, the most taboo thing about fighter jets is to leave the back to others. This is equivalent to putting your head under the opponent's gun. But the two immediately felt something was wrong. Because the opponent did not lock fire, and approached them at an alarming speed, faster than them. Both of them took a slight breath. A fighter faster than them. How can it be? They are the most advanced fighters. Condensed the research crystallization of a group of the best scientists. Also shocked is the flight base. A staff member looked at the red dot of the rapid flight, and hurriedly shouted, Alarm! Alert! There is a new unknown flight object. It is flying towards our fighter plane at supersonic speed. When the high-level officer saw this, his pupils shrank. Is this a planned flight? Where did these flight objects come from? What are they going to do? The red dot is rapidly approaching the fighter plane. The staff hurriedly shouted, The new flight object is faster than our fifth-generation aircraft. The opponent is quickly approaching our fighter. Faster than the fifth-generation machine. As soon as these words came out, the entire base breathed in one after another. They were shocked when they saw the red dot rapidly approaching their fighter plane. Next to Tony's good friend, Colonel War Machine Roddy exclaimed, How is it possible? The high-level officer hurriedly said, Plane number one, turn around. Check whose fighter is it. Hear the words of the base. A fighter plane turned around quickly, and the flight crew looked in the direction of the red dot on the radar. Whoosh, the air burst, a white horse condensed by supersonic clouds galloped from a distance, and flew past him in an instant. The flight crew is all too familiar with that white horse. It is the small tail of the cloud caused by supersonic speed. Only, why only supersonic small tail? Only the sound of air bursting. Others, nothing left. So, who is flying? Why is there no supersonic flight body? Seeing the pure cloud passing by, the flight crew almost popped their eyes. At this moment, Colonel Roddy's voice rang through the plane. Plane number one, can you see what fighter plane it is? Or is it another flight object? 
The fifth generation machine is owned by only a few countries, and there are very few with independent research and development capabilities. Moreover, the fighters developed by various countries all carry the brand of each country's style, which is easy to recognize. Then, no one responded. Because the flight crew is still in a state of shock. The base officer yelled several times in a row before the flight crew came back to their senses. Sir, Unit 1 is here. So, which country's fighter jet is it? The flight attendant stammered, I, didn't see, dot who was flying. Hearing this, Colonel Roddy became angry. The radar shows that the opponent flew past your fighter plane, very close. How could you not see it? The flight crew's mentality collapsed, he really didn't see it. Because there is nothing flying at all. The flight officer hurriedly said, Sir, I really didn't see anything flying. I only saw a sonic boom passing by. There is no flight subject. Hear this. Everyone at the base is happy. Without the main body of flight, there will be a sonic boom cloud. Will it show up on the radar? Colonel Roddy laughed angrily. You think we're funny, don't you? The flight crew's mentality exploded. Although all this is indeed too unbelievable. But it is true. The flight officer quickly said. I will send you the photos captured by the super high-speed camera of the fighter just now. Soon, inside the base, I saw the photos sent by the flight crew. In an instant, the entire base fell silent. Colonel War Machine Roddy was also silent. There is a supersonic sonic boom cloud. It's just that there is no sonic boom cloud with the main body of flight, which is very weird. Next moment, the base exploded. What's going on? Shet. Only sonic boom clouds. After a while, Colonel Roddy said, to be on the safe side, send three more fighter planes. Yes, above the sky, the invisible dragon body Li Shu is galloping fast. Running towards Iron Man, as he sprinted through the air, he spotted Iron Man. As a Marvel legend, Li Shu still wanted to take a closer look at the opponent's armor, this classic armor that had been living on his computer screen. As for the impact on the fifth generation machine or Iron Man, he doesn't care. Because the other party can't have any influence on him now. Whether it's a warplane or a steel battle suit. Furthermore, he is currently in the state of being invisible and superimposed on the Holy Lord, and it is impossible for anyone to discover his true identity. It doesn't matter even if he saw his Holy Master state through thermal imaging, because it was just his vest. Whoosh. Li Shu glanced over the fighter plane without stopping his eyes on it. Iron Man, who was flying rapidly, also found new flight objects. The voice of Jarvis sounded in his ears, warning. There is a new flight object behind. The speed of the opponent is very fast, even faster than the fifth generation aircraft. The opponent is approaching at high speed. On the radar, a brand new red dot appeared, and quickly passed the fifth generation aircraft, approaching him. Iron Man's eyes widened, faster than the fifth generation aircraft. Has the military developed a brand new fighter? Why didn't I know? In Iron Man's view, flying out from behind and flying close to the fifth generation aircraft, it must be a brand new fighter for the military. The fifth generation machine gave him a headache, and now there is a faster one. Iron Man feels that his whole body is not good, and his face is even darker. Just when he was thinking, the sound of air bursting sounded. He found the red dot approaching rapidly. Next moment. The red dot has come to his side. Iron Man turned his head to look. Nothing. There is only one sonic boom cloud. In the harsh, loud crack of air. Iron Man's eyes widened. Where's the flight thing? The frame on the screen dotted, aiming around, but found nothing. Jarvis said, I found a strong airflow fluctuation. There is indeed something flying beside you. It just cannot be caught by the naked eye. The corner of Iron Man's mouth twitched. I knew from the sound, there must be something flying. He hurriedly said, turn on the thermal imaging function. Yes, sir. Next moment, his screen turned two shades of orange and blue. Then, beside him, a huge body appeared. Strong and powerful body, thick and well-developed limbs, ferocious dragon head. The huge and powerful body gives people a strong sense of oppression. That's not a fighter plane or any other flight device. That is a powerful creature. A legendary dragon. The creature's huge eyes were staring at him. Hiss. Iron Man gasped, his scalp tingling. Fuck. 
It turned out to be a dragon like a devil. The voice of Jarvis rang in his ears, Sir. According to the image, the other party is a dragon. It has been detected that the other party contains a huge amount of energy. Scanning. Beside the dragon, an energy frame appeared, and inside it was an energy bar. The energy bar skyrocketed, piercing the energy frame all at once. The entire screen glows red. Warning. Warning. The opponent's terrifying energy has exceeded the calculation limit. It cannot be calculated. The opponent is extremely dangerous. Extremely dangerous. Please do not conflict with the opponent. Crazy warnings rang in Tony's ears. Tony's pupils shrank like needles. Jarvis is a super intelligent computer developed by him, and its computing power has broken through the limit of modern technology. Even so, Jarvis can't calculate the opponent's energy, so how terrifying is the opponent? How could a creature's body bear such an incalculable amount of terrifying energy? The creature in front of him was completely beyond Tony's cognition, and he couldn't help feeling a little fear in his heart. Even though he had just been locked on by the fifth generation aircraft loaded with missiles, he didn't feel a trace of fear. Now, facing this unknown and terrifying creature, he was really terrified. Especially looking at those eyes, staring at him closely, as if the abyss is staring at him. An invisible oppressive feeling wrapped around his body like a mountain. He froze, barely daring to move. Li Xu didn't know that he had brought such a terrifying experience to Tony, and he didn't know that he had turned into a terrifying beast in Tony's eyes. In fact, he was simply looking at Iron Man's battle suit. If he had a handful of melon seeds in his hand, he might knock them up, looking at them and commenting on them. I have to say that this classic battle suit he has seen countless times in movies is quite handsome. Moreover, seeing it in reality is still in the sky, and it is completely two kinds of experiences. There is a feeling of a dream coming into reality. However, for him now, this battle suit is too fragile, he even feels that he can tear this thin layer of iron with two fingers. The steel battle suit he once dreamed of has become a tasteless thing in his eyes. Li Xu sighed inwardly, after all, he had grown to the point where he couldn't touch it. After admiring the steel battle suit, Li Xu was ready to leave. After all, as a high school student, after school, you still go home. Loitering outside is bad after all. Cough cough. It's just that Li Xu wants to go home and eat takeaway. After all, this takeaway has been ordered for several days, and it was delivered to my door today, so I had to eat it. It just so happened that it could alleviate his recent poverty. He also just wanted to change houses. Others eat fish, he eats takeaway. Just at this time, the warplane once again brought Iron Man into attack range. The opponent launched an attack directly. Whoosh. Several shells flew out, rushing towards Iron Man. The alarm sounded again. Iron Man's face turned green. He was not afraid of these shells, but he was afraid that the shells would disturb the terrifying creature in front of him. Then there will be an unmanageable situation. He was extremely careful and did not dare to act rashly. Unexpectedly, the fifth generation aircraft directly threw a few shells. Just when Iron Man was worried, he found the dragon moved. He looked at the shells behind him. Next moment, his pupils shrunk. I saw the dragon's eyes, the temperature is rising sharply. In the thermal imaging, the color of those eyes quickly changed from red to orange yellow, and then almost blazing white. Like two dazzling suns. Warning. Warning. The eyes of unknown creatures are accumulating terrifying power and blazing extreme heat. Dangerous. Extremely dangerous. Seeing this, Iron Man was taken aback. What is this guy up to? Attack with the eyes. Next moment. Chi Chi. Two blazing beams burst out like two unparalleled sharp swords, sweeping across the shells. Boom boom boom. Several violent explosions sounded from behind. A few shells were dealt with as soon as they flew out of the weapon compartment. On Iron Man's thermal imaging screen, it was two blazing to glowing extremely high temperature rays that smashed the shell. On the screen with a normal view, in the void, two golden lasers were shot out of thin air, and with a light sweep, all the shells were chopped off. The energy intensity of this laser is even far better than his strongest chest laser cannon. The energy contained in the laser beam made Iron Man startled, and swallowed a mouthful of saliva involuntarily. 
Such an astonishing laser beam erupting from a pair of eyes was beyond his imagination. At this time, he was afraid that the other party would look at him again. After all, those eyes are too scary, if you give him a shot, I'm afraid he will be cut up as a sausage. After all, even his steel battle suit couldn't stop him from a laser beam of this intensity. Li Shu was about to leave. As a result, the cannonballs were already flying, and in order to avoid being affected, he exploded the cyclops of the pig spell and blasted them one by one. By the way, he tested the power of cyclops, and he was very satisfied with the result. Two fiery warm currents gushed out from the eyes, easily swept the incoming shells, and deflected the shell attacks of the top fighters. It's still a random cyclops from him, not using much of the power of the pig spells at all. Cyclops is simply the sharpest S caliber. After finishing these, Li Shu was ready to leave for real. At this moment, another three new fifth generation fighters joined the battlefield, enveloping them from all directions. The five fighters seemed to want to envelop Iron Man and Li Shu. Seeing five warplanes gave Iron Man a headache. Two fighter planes gave him some headaches, let alone five. The reason why the military sent three more fighter planes is that two unknown flight objects appeared in this no-fly zone. One of them, in particular, can't be seen at all with normal vision. It can be said that so many fighters will come, thanks to that guy. Iron Man wants to cry but has no tears. Just at this time. Boom. A louder explosion sounded. In Iron Man's line of sight, the speed of the dragon suddenly increased, and it burst out, leaving him behind at twice the supersonic speed. At the same time, the voice of J-A-R-V-I-S came from his ears, dragon creature speed up. Three times mock, four times mock, five times mock, six times mock, six times mock, that is, six times supersonic speed. The sound of tearing the sky disappeared in an instant. The figure quickly turned into a black spot, and finally disappeared into the sky. The terrifying speed completely shocked Iron Man. His jaw trembled slightly. This, what speed is this? The speed of a creature can reach Mach 6 times. What kind of physical body can withstand such a fast speed without breaking apart? Iron Man looked at the disappearing direction, his pupils were trembling, and he even felt his poor trembling. What kind of monster is this? Not only the laser beams burst out in both eyes, but the speed can even reach Mach 6. The voice of J-A-R-V-I-S rang in his ears, Mr. Stark. Five fighter jets are encircling you. Hear this. Iron Man was taken aback. Watching the five red dots on the radar flying towards him. As for the red dot of the disappearing dragon, there was absolutely no opportunity to pay attention to it and pursue it. Iron Man understands why. Six times the speed of Mach, and the fifth generation machine with a speed of Mach 2 is chasing after it. Can't even see other people's butts. Looking at the five fighters, Iron Man's mentality exploded. Originally, he only had to face two fifth generation fighters, but now he had to face five because of the appearance of the dragon. The dragon lured the enemy over and ran off by itself. Leave him alone to face the enemies. Iron Man's mentality was a little broken, Shiete. Finally, with the help of his good friend Colonel Roddy, Iron Man still escaped. But it was also extremely embarrassing. After being hammered by many shells, the damage rate of the battle suit reached 90%, and he felt that his whole body was about to fall apart, which was very painful. Wait for Iron Man to fly home. The battle suit couldn't stretch anymore, it was completely damaged, and became a pair of broken copper and iron. Iron Man looked at the battle suit, wanting to cry but no tears. What is this all about? Go out to enforce justice, pretend to be aggressive, but people almost didn't get in. When he thought of that dragon, he felt a cold war in his heart. This time it was completely left a deep shadow on him. Li Shu's basement is actually a separate room in the corner of a larger underground garage. Outside the house, there was a group of gang members standing, all of them were full of ruffians. Inside the house, sitting was an African-American woman weighing more than 300 kilograms, with dark skin, fat head and big ears, and a pair of small mung bean eyes, and a bit of a thunderous mouth. This person is the little leader's sister who has a crush on Li Shu. With such a growth, it is no wonder that Li Shu's predecessor died in depression. Next to her, standing there was a strong black man with a burly figure, a scar on his face, and a bit of a joke. 
It is the little boss. The black woman's eyes were shining, and her ham-like ugly thick lips opened and closed. Soon, this kid Hugh will be back. Starting today, he will be my man. Having said that, she chuckled and licked her lips. The little boss frowned slightly and said, Every time I find a man for you, you quickly play him to death. You change your bad habits of abusing people. After all, there are so many handsome men for you to play with. He continued, and if you keep doing this, we will always encounter difficulties. At that time, we will be in trouble. The little boss sister smiled and replied perfunctorily, I know, I know. Immediately she changed the subject and said, I'm afraid this kid will run away. The little boss sneered, escape. Can he escape? Four of my subordinates are watching him. He has been obediently staying at school today. If he wants to escape, he won't stay at school all day. Immediately, he frowned and said, at this point in time, school should be over, and that kid should have come out. Why didn't the situation be reported over there? Could it be that he is still in school? He dialed and nodded, and learned that the other party hadn't left school. He immediately ordered his men to go into the school to find someone. The result is at this time. There were voices outside. Boss, that kid is back. Little boss, came back. The little boss's sister's eyes lit up, her breathing became rapid, and she rubbed her palms excitedly, finally back. The little boss was stunned, isn't this guy still at school? Why did he come back all of a sudden? His sister curled her lips, what else can it be? It's not that your subordinates are unreliable, and they can't even look down on a high school student. She snorted coldly, fortunately, this kid didn't run away, otherwise, I would never end with your subordinates. Hear this, the little boss's eyes were slightly cold, and he gritted his teeth and said, these guys are really trash, they can't do such a small thing well. It seems that they need to clean up. As he spoke, he snorted angrily. Then he looked outside the house, and smiled again, this guy is smart and didn't run away, otherwise I will have to pull out a layer of his skin when I find him. After speaking, he walked out of the house. Outside. The corner of the entire underground parking lot was dark, only the light inside the hut overflowed, slightly illuminating the surrounding area. Li Xu came out of the gloom, with a thin and tall figure, under the thin hair, a pair of jet black eyes were particularly deep, and the clear-cut face looked tough and perfect. He looked towards a group of gangsters outside the house. The guys who had warned him in the morning were there too. When they saw Li Xu, they immediately smiled. I didn't expect you to come back. It's okay, you are blessed. That's right, you kid has a younger sister with the boss, you really make a lot of money. It's a good thing you didn't run away, otherwise you would have to shed a layer of skin today. Yes, with your fragile physique, if you are caught, half your life will be gone. Li Xu looked at these people and pulled out a smile, it seems that I have to thank you for thinking of me so much. Through the gate, he was able to see the two little boss brothers and sisters inside. Seeing that the other party was here, the smile on Li Xu's face was even wider. It's good that they are all here, lest he have to look for them one by one. Hear Li Xu's words, those people all smiled. Then you really have to thank us. After all, there are not many kind people like us in this world. If you want to thank us, you can send us some money or something later, and it's not in vain for us to take care of you like this. Li Xu smiled slightly coldly. Take care, these guys, care, is bullying. For the predecessor, these guys did a lot of, care. The other gang members looked at Li Xu with mockery and gloating. After all, they all know what kind of virtue their eldest sister is, she is the guy who killed several men, and everyone's body is covered with scars, and they are as thin as wood. At this time, the little boss came out. He looked at Li Xu and said lightly, go in by yourself and serve my sister well. Also, don't touch a single hair of my sister, if I know you hurt her. Speaking of this, his eyes were lingering, and his voice turned cold. Don't worry, I will definitely make your life worse than death. You know what I did in this land, and you know what happens to those who offend me. The little leader's sister walked to the door and grinned. Don't worry, with his small body, there is no way he can touch me. As she said that, she swallowed her saliva, her breath became short of breath, she stared at Li Xu, as if she wanted to swallow Li Xu, and shouted, Come in quickly. Trash, hurry up. She hadn't finished speaking. Chi Chi, 
Two extremely blazing laser beams rushed into her eyes. Horrible burning is creepy. A horrific cry sounded. Just halfway through the sound, it stopped abruptly. Because there are already two holes in the opponent's head. This scene. Everyone present was stunned. The scene was silent. An indifferent voice sounded. It's too loud, it hurts my ears. Everyone followed the reputation. They saw the owner of the laser. It was the guy who seemed extremely weak to them, Li Shu. Seeing the terrifying lasers erupting in each other's eyes, everyone almost held their breath, and their bodies froze in place. Only the pupils are vibrating. No one expected that Li Shu possessed such a terrifying ability. They looked at the slightly immature face again, full of indifference, indifference to the point of frightening. Killing a person so cruelly seems to be nothing to him. It's like just crushing an ant. Li Shu looked at the others with extremely indifferent eyes, and said softly, you all must die. Next moment, everyone felt their hairs stand on end and their scalps tingled. The sound is very soft, but it feels like the sound of death god. There was a silence. Instant frying pan on the scene, these gangsters seemed to run away. A smile appeared on Li Shu's face. But in everyone's eyes, this smile became very terrifying, as if the most evil demon in hell was smiling. Cyclops exploded from Li Shu's eyes again, sweeping towards the gangsters. Pissed, pissed, pissed. One after another, people were chopped off at the waist, and a lot of blood poured down and splashed on the ground. Pum pum pum. A body with severed limbs fell to the ground. A scream sounded in the underground parking lot, and the scene seemed to have turned into purgatory. In the dim environment, the laser beam was particularly bright, illuminating the thick plasma on the ground and illuminating the fear on everyone's face. Moment. Except for the little bosses. All are dead. Li Shu withdrew the cyclops, a plume of smoke came out of his eyes due to the high temperature, and disappeared into the air. He waved. Blazing flames erupted, enveloping corpses one by one. Under the terrifying flames, those corpses instantly turned into dust, and all the bloodstains disappeared. He looked at the little boss in front of him. His eyes were full of fear, the opponent was fighting with each other, and there was a puddle of urine under his feet. He said, how much money do you have? It's important to kill people, but it's also important to make some money. Taken together, it can be called takeaway. The little boss stammered, I, I have 800,000 in my hand. Hearing this, Li Shu revealed a smile. 800,000 USD, not bad. His life can be more comfortable. He said, take me to get it. Hearing this, the little boss hurriedly said, give you the money, can you let me go? Ah. Chi Chi Chi. A beam of weakened laser light hit the little boss's arm, severely burning the opponent's flesh and blood. Not a one-time piercing, but torture. Li Shu's faint voice sounded, are you worthy of speaking conditions? The little boss said painfully, I, I'll take you there. Hearing this, Li Shu nodded slightly, then lead the way. After finishing speaking, he lifted the little boss like a chicken, and immediately floated up. When the little boss saw this, his pupils shrank slightly, and the fear in his eyes deepened. Flight, retinazer, flame, all kinds of weird and powerful abilities. Who the hell is this guy? Is it a real demon? Thinking of the blood plasma and stumps all over the ground, as well as the smile of the other party, this is not a devil, who else could it be? This moment, infinite remorse welled up in the little boss's heart, regretting why he had to provoke this plague god. He was still saying before that there would always be some hard problems, but unexpectedly, he did. Deep fear and regret intertwined in the little leader's heart. Li Shu didn't care about the little boss's thoughts. He mentioned the little boss, became invisible, and flew away from here. Under the guidance of the little boss, he came to an ordinary bungalow on the outskirts of New City. He said coldly, is all the money in there? The little boss nodded hurriedly, it's in here, this. This is the house I bought secretly. Basically, no one knows about it. I specially use it to hide money. Li Shu nodded slightly when he heard this, and he waved his hand. Hung. The door was blasted open violently. Immediately, he threw the little boss on the ground, go in and find it. The little boss nodded quickly, crawled into the house, and walked towards a room. Li Shu followed behind. It was a storage room with all kinds of sundries piled up in it. The little boss moved away the sundries in a place one by one, exposing the wooden plank and bricks. 
He lifted the wooden tiles, revealing the safe underneath. When Li Xu saw this, a smile appeared on the corner of his mouth, 800,000 United States dollars is almost here. The little boss opened the safe. At this time, a sudden change occurred. The little boss quickly took out a powerful huge amounts of revolver M500 from the safe. He aimed a few shots at Li Xu, his expression extremely ferocious, fake squid. Go to hell, you devil. Pong, pong, pong. The sound exploded. The muzzle of the gun continued to spew fire, and because of repeated friction and heating up, the muzzle of the gun was slightly red. One by one powerful bullets sprayed out. As the trigger was pressed, the little boss showed intense joy and excitement on his face. Finally, he was able to end this guy. After all, this is an M500 revolver. It is the most powerful pistol most loved by hunters in the world. It can easily kill large elephants and rhinos, so it is known as a hand cannon. Guys like elephants and rhinos can be easily killed, let alone a squishy human. The little boss grinned, his eyes were crazy, and his smile was slightly ferocious. When Li Xu saw this, his face was expressionless, without any movement, he just stood there, as if he was watching a play, as if the opponent hadn't hit him. Seeing Li Xu like this, the little boss had a bad feeling in his heart. Next moment. Chi Chi Chi. Clothes are torn. Li Xu swelled up, his skin began to turn green, cold and hard dragon scales grew, horns emerged from his head, his eyes were filled with red light, and fangs grew out of his bloody mouth. The boy disappeared. Instead, a ferocious and terrifying dragon stood in place, as big as a hill. Clang, clang, clang. The bullet hit the scales, sparks appeared, and the sound of gold and stone resounded. There is no way to go any further, the powerful bullets can only leave white marks on the scales at best. The little boss's smile froze. He looked up at the dragon, his eyes were full of disbelief, and his hands holding the gun were trembling slightly. How? Dot how is it possible? He backed away tremblingly, his eyes full of fear. You, you are really, a devil. The little boss almost collapsed. God. Hey, have you seen this demon? Hurry up and punish him. Destroy this demon. Li Xu didn't look at the other party anymore, and focused on the safe. He flicked his finger lightly, and the power of levitation exploded. Pong. The little boss flew out, hit the wall, screamed, vomited blood, and fell to the ground. Li Xu hooked his finger at the safe, and all the contents flew out. A large pile of green USD appeared, suspended in the air. Looking at the size, it matches the 800,000 that the little boss said. 800,000 USD is almost enough to buy a small house in a prosperous area of New York City, and you can buy 5 or 6 Porsche 911 supercars. You know, New York City is the financial center of the world. Porsche's most classic supercar, the 911, costs more than 100,000 United States dollars. From here, we can see the strong purchasing power of 800,000 United States dollars. It can be said that with this money, Li Xu's life will be raised directly to the level of petty bourgeoisie. Seeing the money, Li Xu grinned. It's just that, with that dragon face, this smile is a bit hideous and terrifying. In addition to a stack of cash, there are also a few gold bars inside, which are shining golden, and it is estimated that they can be worth more than 10 or 200,000 USD. It's another supercar's money, and it's comfortable. This takeaway is delicious. Suddenly, his eyes narrowed slightly. A piece of silver metal appeared in front of his eyes. This silver metal looks particularly eye-catching among a pile of USD and gold bars. It's almost impossible to be steel or silver. Because there is no need to put a piece of cheap steel or silver in the safe. With a wave of his hand, the silver nugget flew into his hand. He gripped it hard, but the silver nugget did not change in the slightest. Li Xu's blood-red dragon eyes narrowed slightly, the power of the bull talisman flowed, and even more astonishing power erupted from his arm. Grip again. The silver nugget remained unchanged. It seems to be super metal, there is no need to run away. But what kind of super metal it is, Li Xu doesn't know. After all, in Marvel, there are still a lot of extremely hard super metals such as sound-absorbing steel, adamantium, vibranium and so on. But no matter what it is, Li Xu understands that he has found the real treasure. 
After all, these metals are basically the kind that are full of defenses, and it is impossible for ordinary attacks to work. Among them, the top ones can even reach the point of being indestructible. He looked at the little boss and said calmly, what is this thing? The little boss said in fear, you, got you real devil, ah. Li Shu Cyclops broke out and directly fused one of the little boss's arms. The scene was extremely cruel. Li Shu's eyes were indifferent, and he paused every word, and his tone was uncompromising, I ask, you answer. Suffering this heavy blow, the little boss's face was full of sweat, mixed with blood, and kept rolling to the ground. His lips were pale, and he stared at Li Shu with madness in his eyes, you devil. You will be punished. The little boss's words stopped abruptly. Because a hot laser beam pierced his head directly. Pong. The body fell heavily to the ground, kicking up a cloud of dust. Li Shu said indifferently, it's really noisy. Li Shu didn't talk nonsense with the little boss, and he didn't want to listen to the other party's nonsense, so he directly ended the other party. He's also not in a hurry as to what super metal actually is. Anyway, it's super metal. Anyway, it's right in his hands. When the time comes, just find a guy who knows how to do it, and you will know what it is. He held out his hand for a moment. Two ninjas emerged from the shadows and bowed respectfully to Li Shu. Then, holding those USD, gold bars, and super metals, they disappeared into the shadows, as if they had entered a deep pool and disappeared without a trace. Finish these. Li Shu snapped his fingers. Pong. Flames covered the man's body and incinerated it. Boom. The flames continued to rise, and the flames grew stronger, burning the whole house. Blazing flames enveloped the huge dragon body. In those fist-sized eyes, a blazing flame was reflected. Since he is immune to fire, these flames cannot harm him. To him, it was like soaking in a hot spring, warm and comfortable. Covered in raging flames, Li Shu slowly walked out of the room. The dragon body has become invisible. Boom. A big hole burst out on the spot. Li Shu exploded into the sky and disappeared into the sky. While Li Shu happily eats takeaway. The follow-up effect of his wandering in the sky is still happening. Inside the Air Force Base. A group of high-level generals are sitting in the meeting room. Among them is even the Air Force Lieutenant General, General Ross, the rival of the Green Titan, and the future Red Titan. His experiments led to the creation of the Green Titan, and it is he who has been hunting the Green Titan. Those sitting here are basically big shots from the Air Force. At the moment, all of them looked at the projected photos with serious faces. In the vast sky, a condensed sonic boom cloud flew by. There were only clouds and nothing else. General Ross frowned and said, So, what's going on here? Is it the trace left by a supersonic fighter? Colonel War Machine Roddy stood aside and said, This is indeed a trace of supersonic speed, but this is a trace of flight being produced by flight. In other words, the flight object is also on the picture. General Ross glared, Where is the flight in the photo? Are you kidding me? War Machine released another photo. It is the radar display map of the fighter plane. A red dot is shown above, very close to the fighter plane. War Machine opened the mouth and said, the photo was captured by a fighter plane using a high-speed camera in the direction of the red dot. We captured the unknown flight object. It's just that we can't see it, it is invisible. Hearing this, the pupils of everyone present trembled slightly. Unable to be caught by the naked eye, this is true invisibility. It's not the kind of, stealth, that can't be caught by radar. War Machine continued to post photos one by one. Two blazing lasers emerged from the void, blasting shells one by one. Amazing power. War Machine said, the unknown flight object can also emit high-intensity lasers. It can easily kill the fighter's shells, and it is extremely accurate, making our fighter's shells useless. He paused. In the face of this laser, the most powerful weapons of our fighters have been reduced to useless scrap iron and gunpowder. Hearing this, everyone present was shocked. Such an advanced weapon is really amazing. On the contrary, it was General Ross, with eager eyes, such a powerful thing, if we can obtain this technology, then the strength of our air force will greatly increase. In the eyes of General Ross, good things have to be kept by themselves. General Ross quickly asked, have you caught this flight object? Or have you found out where they came from? War Machine shook his head, 
We sent five fifth generation aircraft, but we didn't catch it, and we didn't find out where it came from or where it went. Hearing this, everyone present gasped. None of the five strongest fighters stopped this flight, how could it be possible? The five strongest fighters can destroy almost all targets. Even if he is very strong against Fang Yu, if he is 1v5, he must be hit no matter what. The effect of 1 plus 1 can be greater than 2, let alone 5 fighters that cooperate seamlessly. General Ross stared angrily, how is that possible? Those are the 5 strongest fighters. Even if the attack of one fighter is neutralized, there are a total of 5 fighters. And, even if the attack is resolved, don't our 5th generation machines know how to dodge? Chase. How could we not know where it went? War Machine's subsequent words were like a nuclear bomb that exploded in everyone's hearts. The generals present couldn't help feeling a trace of fear in their hearts. War Machine said, because the flight speed reached Mach 6. As soon as the words came out, the scene was silent, and a needle could be heard. Next moment, everyone's pupils were almost shrunk into needles, and there was a hint of fear on their faces. Six times supersonic flight object. You know, their fifth generation fighters are just over two times the size, and they are already the most powerful fighter jets. Mach 6 speed, or true stealth, with laser weapons. Simply horrible. Is this really a flight device that humans can research? Is this really within the reach of Earth technology? Everyone looked at each other in blank dismay. Even General Ross didn't speak. Facing the overwhelming force, he also chose to remain silent. This night. The top management of the entire Air Force base did not sleep well. The unknown flight object is like a mountain weighing on everyone's hearts. Besides them, in a luxury villa built along the coast, a rich playboy also couldn't sleep all night, tossing and turning. In his mind, the huge body and the terrifying sense of oppression are still playing back. Li Xu didn't know, he just wanted to take a look at the steel battle suit, but in the end he left a deep shadow on countless people. Compared with these people's restless sleep and food. The instigator is very relaxed and at ease. Manhattan, New York. A certain star hotel. Inside a certain high level suite on a high floor. In front of the wide floor to ceiling windows. A handsome young man was wearing a white bathrobe, lying on a reclining chair, with a glass of iced coke in his hand, and eating sausage beef pizza with the other, enjoying himself very much. On the dining car next to it, there are also some fruit cakes, pizza, fried chicken pasta, etc. All food provided by the hotel. And this person is Li Xu who makes the outside world boil. Naturally, it was impossible for him to live in the dilapidated house before. But it is too late to buy a house or rent a house today. So, he found a star hotel and opened a high-level suite. Overlooking the brightly lit city night scene outside, Li Xu smiled. I have to say that the night view of New York City is really beautiful. It is really a comfortable thing to lie on a tall building, watch the night view, and enjoy the meticulous service of a high-level hotel. But these are all in exchange for money. It feels good to be rich. Feeling the USD, gold and super metals in the Shadow Kingdom, Li Xu smiled even wider. After this trip, he got almost 1 million USD and a piece of super metal worth a fortune. This takeaway far exceeded his expectations. It can only be said that he was very lucky this time to meet such a rich little boss. Ordinary small bosses are not so rich. However, it is impossible to deposit this money in the bank because it is black money. A large amount of money is deposited in the bank, and the relevant tax system will start to work, and it will soon be found that there is something wrong with the money. After all, this land has a very complete tax system. Li Xu didn't care about this. After all, whether he saves it in the bank or not has little effect on him for the time being. If you want to save it later, just find a professional to sort out the money. Li Xu took a bite of the beef pizza and called out his attribute panel. Host. Li Xu. Shock value. Zero. Cause item manufacturing opportunity. None. Seven day cooldown period. Ability. Holy master template with 12 divine powers. Spider ability. The shock value is still zero. So during the day, Gwen didn't act, and didn't use the ghost power. Li Xu's eyes fell on the night view of the city again, and he murmured, at night, criminals also came out. Gwen should act now. There are still seven days left. 
I don't know how much shock value Gwen can save him. Hope, Gwen can bring him some surprises. A port terminal. Two containers were placed on the dock. Next to the two containers. A few others were patrolling back and forth. Whoosh. A nimble figure was rippling in the air, with the help of those cranes for loading and unloading containers. Soon, this flexible figure came to the top of the pile of containers, the pink and white tights wrapped graceful curves, and also wore a hood. It was Gwen. Her eyes fell on the two special containers below and the people patrolling around. Gwen learned through intelligence that at the pier, gangsters are preparing to smuggle a batch of weapons to New York City. If these weapons flow into New York City and fall into the hands of those lawless gang members, then the law and order in New York City will be worse and more chaotic. Therefore, it is impossible for Gwen to watch these weapons flow into New City. If it was before, she might have cracked down on these criminals, and then called the police to let them deal with this matter and these weapons. But now, she is not going to let the police deal with these weapons. Because now these weapons have a better place to go, and that is to become part of her shadow core. Further enhance the firepower of her shadow core. After all, what's the point of playing cold weapons like flying dart sticks, play hot weapons if you want to play. After all, times have changed. Equipping her ninjas with these hot weapons will greatly increase the lethality of her shadow core. A ninja equipped with guns is a modern ninja who adapts to the trend of the times. The shadow core with modern weapons is the most advanced core. Gwen scanned the people below. Through excellent eyesight, and relatively rich experience in struggle. She could tell at a glance that these people had guns pinned to their waists. She understands that the battle must be resolved quickly, without giving the other party a chance to shoot. Think here. Gwen took action, jumped down, and galloped towards the people below. Whoosh. With strong tearing air sounds. Hear tearing air sounds from above. Some looked overhead and saw Gwen falling for a moment. It's a ghost spider. Attack. As they spoke, they stretched out their hands to touch their waists. Gwen had everything in mind, so she naturally couldn't let these guys get the guns. She raised her hand quickly. Whoosh. A cobweb shoots out. Stick to the hand of these guys trying to draw a gun. At the same time, Gwen also arrived in an instant and swung his fist at these guys. Bang bang bang. Blood and teeth splatter. There was a scream. After a while, the gangsters just lay down and passed out. Gwen stood alone in the cool breeze. Gwen looked at the people who fell to the ground, raised his chin slightly, and snorted, shrimp soldiers and crab generals, chicken tile dogs. After speaking, she patted the dust off her hands and walked towards the two containers. There was a crunch. Gwen opened the containers one by one. It's all wooden boxes. She stepped forward and opened the wooden box, which was full of firearms. There are pistols, AKS, and even heavy weapons such as Gatling and rocket launchers. Gwen's eyes are straight. Gwen covered her mouth with her small hand. My god. So many heavy weapons. She murmured, if these weapons enter the market, it is hard to imagine how chaotic the whole New York City will be. Fortunately I'm here. Gwen chuckled. Confiscate everything and keep it for Gwen. She is the queen of darkness, with the existence of a kingdom of shadows. Say confiscation, no problem. Next moment, her eyes glowed red. Ninjas emerged from the shadows one after another, and moved guns into her shadow kingdom. Soon, Gwen emptied all the things. Then left here quickly. Shortly after, people on the ground woke up one after another. They looked at the guarded containers and opened them all. All were surprised. I hurried in to have a look. Everyone almost fainted. All the boxes were opened, and all the contents inside were emptied. They glanced at the time. The time obviously hasn't passed too long, why did the ghost spider empty two containers of guns by himself? They looked at each other with shock in their eyes. How did she do it? How could one person empty out so many weapons in a short time? She must have helpers. One person tore his hair frantically, ghost spider. It's over, we're going to be dealt with severely. Hurry up and call the above, otherwise we will not only be cleaned up, but our lives may be lost. Yes. Call. Soon, the call went into the secret office of a nightclub. This is inside a spacious and stately office. A huge fat man was lying on a special chair, holding a glass of red wine as bright as blood in his gloved hand. Beside him, there were several bunny girls, 
filling him with wine, feeding him, and pinching his legs. With his huge size, tiger eyes, and intimidating temperament, he gave people a deep sense of oppression like a ferocious beast and a lion. Others will feel the deep pressure. This person is the underground emperor of New City, Jin Bing. Just at this time, the phone rang. He connected the phone and said in a low voice, what's the matter? Boss, the ghost spider took all the guns. Hearing this, Jin Bin was shocked. These are guns and ammunition that he spent a lot of money on. Ghost spiders snatched them all. Jin Bing's expression changed, and he stood up abruptly, with a ferocious face, and a terrible sense of oppression filled the room. Everyone else trembled. Snapped. Jin Bin was furious and smashed the wine glass at once. What did you say? Everything was taken away. He yelled. How is it possible? The number is so huge, even if she is a superhero, she can't snatch so many at the same time. Did she call the police? The subordinate was sweating on his forehead, and hurriedly said, No, no. These guns must not have fallen into the hands of the police. If the police came, they would definitely arrest us. We're fine, which means there's no police. I'm afraid this guy has other helpers. Jin Bing took a breath, and suppressed his anger slightly. How long has it been since you took it? The subordinate hurriedly said, It didn't take long before the robbery, only 20 or 30 minutes. When Jin Bin heard this, his thoughts changed. To transport such a large piece of guns, she must need a truck with a large capacity. It only takes 20 or 30 minutes, and she can't go too far. Call out the monitoring on the road in that area immediately. My goods will definitely be found. You must find her for me. Find my gun. Otherwise, I will take your skin off. At the end, he gave a loud roar that was deafening. Kim and hung up the phone. His eyes were cold, and he murmured, There are remedial measures, and I can get it back. It's just that Jin Bing couldn't even think of it, the ghost spider would have a bug-like storage space like the Shadow Kingdom. The other party didn't need a car at all, so he packed all the guns and ammunition away by himself. Therefore, even if Jin Bing checked all the surveillance cameras on the surrounding roads, it would be impossible for him to find the large truck he needed. In the end, the empty surveillance footage also proved it. That night, Jin spent a lot of manpower to check all suspicious vehicles, but did not find a truck with hidden guns at all. Even the kind of pickup trucks and vans with a little space, Jin Bin's people have checked them. But no clue was found. It seems that such a large amount of goods disappeared out of thin air. After such a whole process, he gave gold directly and became autistic. He scratched his head and didn't even figure it out, so many goods, why are they gone? And it disappeared without leaving a trace. The loss of such a large batch of goods, coupled with a large number of people looking for it, it is impossible to cover up this matter. The news spread quickly, causing quite a stir in the underground world. Even the police received the news. Viper Gang Hearing the news, a man with a sharp mouth was shocked and his eyes widened, Xie The ghost spider actually stole two containers of guns and ammunition from Jin Bing. What is this guy doing? How could she swallow so many guns and ammunition? And it was under Jin Bin's nose. How did this guy do it? Hammer Industries Group. President Hammer was shocked when he heard the news from his subordinates, what? The batch of guns and ammunition I secretly sold to Jin Bing were all cut off by ghost spiders. As a large arms dealer in the United States, Hammer Industries has always been suppressed by the Stark Group, especially the emergence of Tony Stark, which made Hammer Industries unable to lift its head. In order to get more research and development funds and make more money at the same time, Hammer will secretly sell arms to gang members and even terrorists in private. He stood up and looked at his subordinates in disbelief. No, she is a superhero, why cut off so many guns and ammunition? Is she going to arm every hair of her hair? Fuck. The subordinates were also puzzled. I can't figure it out either. I've heard of guns used by gangsters to kill gangsters, and even guns used by gangsters to kill Hubeidao, but I've never heard of it. A batch of guns. Did she grow hundreds of hands? Can she use them? Hanmer scratched his head, his expression was a bit ugly. Jin Bing hasn't paid for this batch of firearms. Now that the guns are gone, I feel that it will be a little troublesome to get the money back. Hammer gritted his teeth. This woman. Really? More gang members were also talking about it, and countless people were shocked by Gwen's methods. 
Xie Te, have you heard? The superhero ghost spider robbed a large number of firearms from Jin Bin's underground group. Moreover, Jin Bin almost turned New York City upside down, but he didn't find that batch of firearms. Fake. This guy is too fraudulent. He grabbed the head of the biggest gang member. Superhero robs the underworld. It's the first time I've heard of it, and I'm shocked. I'm convinced. This is really a ruthless person. Next time you meet her, you must run away. This night, because of Gwen, the entire underground world of New York City was almost turned upside down. If Lu Feng saw Gwen working so hard and making such a big commotion, he would be very pleased. Gwen's home is a very common detached villa in the United States. Over the villa, a figure waved over and landed on the wall. It was Gwen. She opened her window and got in. As soon as I entered, I heard the high-pitched and frightened voice of the police chief's father on the phone from downstairs. What? Ghost Spider snatched a large number of smuggled guns from Jin Bing. How did she do it? One person snatched all the guns. Hearing this, the corners of Gwen's mouth turned up slightly, and her small face was slightly smug. Don't even look at who the ghost spider is. Snort. Upstairs, Gwen quickly took off her tights, revealing her hot and proud figure. Those long, slender white legs are simply Saburo's scimitar. The willow waist that is grasped gracefully is the spring water on the banks of Lake Seine. The upper body is rich and generous. Although it is not as good as after the transformation, it is still extremely good. Gwen quickly changed into a set of bare pajamas, even the loose pajamas could not conceal her proud figure. Gwen stood in front of the floor-to-ceiling mirror, admiring her figure in bare pajamas, and was very satisfied, as expected of me, it looks good no matter what I wear. She pointed at herself in the mirror viciously, it's not the 18-year-old who is beautiful, but the 18-year-old you, Xiaoge. Saying that, he gave himself in the mirror a wink. Downstairs, there were still voices in Gwen's father's eyes. Jin Bin is looking for these guns. Jin Bin can't be found, otherwise this batch of firearms will be in trouble if they enter the market. We must find him one step ahead. Immediately transfer people, and we can't let the gun go back to Jin Bin. Gwen yawned, and she felt exhausted all of a sudden. After all, she was quite tired after running around all night. She flung herself on the bed, covered her face, and said in a low voice, even if he turned New City over, he wouldn't even try to find it. After all, no one can take food from Gwen's mouth, no. As Gwen spoke, her voice became smaller and smaller. Finally, it turned into the sound of sleeping. Fall asleep, heartless. The quality of sleep is no different. Inside the secret office of the nightclub, Kim sits at his desk. In front of him, several subordinates stood. Jin Bing's face was extremely ugly, and the atmosphere in the whole room was extremely solemn. Jin Bin said, so, in the end, we still haven't found any clues about the guns. Several subordinates gritted their teeth and nodded. Jin took a deep breath, didn't speak, just looked at the cup on the table. Throughout the office, the atmosphere became more dignified, as if water could drip out. Under the influence of Jin Bing's terrifying aura, beads of sweat began to ooze from the foreheads of several subordinates, and they even felt a little difficult to breathe. After a long time, Jin Bin spoke, breaking the atmosphere of terror, and all his subordinates breathed a sigh of relief. Jin Bing looked at the cup and said, We have only one way to find these guns, and that is to find the ghost spider and pry out the location of these guns from her mouth. He paused, So what do we need to do next? He looked at his men. Several subordinates looked at each other, unable to answer. After all, the ghost spider acts surreptitiously, and no one knows her true identity at all. Thinking of finding the other person is tantamount to finding a needle in a haystack. Jin Bin glanced at his subordinates and snorted coldly, trash. At the critical moment, you are useless at all. Working with you insects, how can great things be achieved? He took a breath and continued. If we want to find the ghost spider, we can only let her jump out by itself. So, we need to set a trap, let her show up by herself, and then catch her. Ghost spiders are superheroes, they have to punish rape and eradicate evil every day, so tomorrow we will do a bad thing and fish her out. I don't believe it anymore. By then, she will be able to turn the world upside down by herself. Having said this, Jin Bin's eyes flashed coldly. 
In his opinion, no matter how strong the ghost spider is, it is impossible for him and his subordinates to be opponents. The next day, the sky is clear. The warm sunlight shines through the floor to ceiling windows and fills the bed in the bedroom. On the bed, a teenager woke up under the warm sunshine. He stretched himself. I slept really comfortably last night. Last night, Li Shu went to bed early and has been sleeping until now. He got up from the bed, made a phone call, and asked for a complimentary generous breakfast. Two bowls of fried noodles with meat sauce, four fried dough sticks, four steamed buns, two bowls of soy milk, and two ham and egg rice rolls. This star hotel is owned by Asians, so it has oriental food. For breakfast, oriental food is his favorite, and it smells delicious even thinking about it. There is no way to order so many, now that the body has become stronger and the appetite has increased a lot. The door-to-door -door service of the hotel is very good, and it is very comfortable for a lazy person like him. After ordering, Li Xu went to the bathroom to wash up. Li Xu said, I don't know if Gwen worked hard last night to help me get rich. From Li Xu's point of view, Gwen didn't carry out justice during the day last night, so he should go out to carry out justice at night, to crack down on hooligans, gang members and the like. After all, New York City is so chaotic, it is impossible not to have a chance. It's just that the shock value obtained by fighting hooligans and ordinary gangsters should not be much. After all, they are ordinary people. Definitely, Li Xu didn't expect Gwen to dig out a golden doll overnight. Less can add up. Walking to the sink, Li Xu began to brush his teeth. At the same time, Li Xu exhaled his attribute board, and looked over with light eyes, with a more casual look. Host. Li Xu. Shock value. 42,024. Cause item manufacturing opportunity. None. Six days in the cooldown period. Ability. Holy Master Template with 12 Divine Powers, Spider Ability. Li Shu looked at his attribute board. Sweep down. 42,024 shock points. Li Shu glanced at the numbers calmly, then continued to look down. Suddenly, he realized something was wrong. He looked at the value again, staring at that value. Immediately, the movement of his hand stopped instantly. Pupils start to constrict. How many? More than 40,000 points of shock value. Click. I didn't control the strength of my hands well, and accidentally used a little force. In an instant, the cup shattered and the toothbrush broke. Because of the blessing of the bull charm, he not only possesses huge amounts of power, but also has an indestructible body, even ordinary bullets cannot penetrate his skin. Therefore, in his hands, the cup almost turned into shards, spilling over the entire sink in the ground. Li Xu didn't care about this. All his attention was on that astonishing number. After all, he was given 1000 points at the beginning. And the tattoo stickers that erase the shortcomings are only 6000. But now, his shock value has directly increased to more than 40,000. Moreover, he just fell asleep. Hiss. Li Xu took a sharp breath. He looked at the value in shock, and finally a national quintessence popped out of his mouth. Fool. Li Xu threw away the things in his hands, quickly rinsed his mouth, and washed his face hastily. Quickly walked out of the bathroom. As soon as he walked forward, a ninja appeared in the shadows and began to clean up the sink, glass shards on the ground, etc. Li Xu said in disbelief as he walked, I'm going, what did this chick Gwen do? She gave me more than 40,000 shock points in one night. He knew that Gwen must be very active in fighting criminals and would definitely make money for him. It's just that he didn't expect that the other party would make him a big one as soon as he came up. Shocking a few little guys, a few street gangsters certainly can't get so much shock value. This value, is the base camp of some underworld leader ransacked. The corner of Li Xu's mouth twitched, Gwen really gave him a big surprise. He turned around and took out his phone and started searching. Soon, he found a little cobweb trace in the corner of the internet. A spiritual guy tweeted, lamenting that the ghost spider is too fierce, and robbed a batch of guns that Jin Bing bought with a huge sum of money, attracting Jin and turning the whole New York City upside down, but in the end, he still got nothing. He said that in the future, the ghost spider will be his idol and his spiritual big sister. Seeing this, Li Xu basically understood what was going on. Gwen really did a big job, stealing the gang's food for others. 
Being able to attract gold and make such a big move shows that the amount of things stolen is very large. I snatched it by myself, and haven't called the police yet. After thinking for a while, Li Shu understood what was going on. The corners of his eyes twitched. This chick is not going to give her the black shadow core, the hole is fully armed. Gwen didn't call the police, which meant that she wasn't going to hand in the firearms, and was going to keep them for herself. With such a huge number of guns, the only one that can be used is the shadow core. After all, Gwen alone, even with three heads and six arms, can't use a lot of guns at all. A scene immediately appeared in Li Shu's mind. Gwen summoned his own shadow core, and ninjas with guns appeared one by one, and countless black muzzles were aimed at the enemy. Thinking of this scene, Li Shu couldn't hold back slightly, and covered his eyes with his hands. What kind of cyber version of the shadow core is this? He can only say that is expected of an invention, a small shadow core can also play tricks. He even wondered if Gwen would equip his black shadow core with a steel battle suit in the future. After all, with Gwen's scientific research ability, it is not impossible to develop a steel battle suit. After figuring out what Gwen did, Li Shu smiled. Gwen knows how to get things done. It was not in vain that he chose her. Li Shu was very relieved that Gwen knew how to repay. Yesterday I gave her tattoo stickers, and today I gave him 40,000 shock points. 40,000 shock points, much more than the 1,000 points given away. 6,000 points to create a tattoo sticker without side effects, which is an auxiliary equipment. I don't know what can be produced with 40,000 shock points. Thinking of this, Li Shu looked forward to it. As he said that, he rubbed his hands, feeling excited and happy, with 40,000 shock points. It was beyond his imagination. Originally thought that Gwen was going to give him a long stream of water, but in the end he still underestimated Gwen's ability to do things. Give him 40,000 points in one night. It is estimated that capitalists will cry and shed tears of happiness when they see such employees. This tattoo sticker is so worth it. Li Shu was overjoyed. Plus, just wait six days and he'll be able to craft Nuka's items again. Thinking of this, Li Shu's eyes lighted up slightly. This is still the first day. I don't know how much shock value Gwen can continue to give him in the next few days. As for whether Gwen will be in danger, he doesn't have to worry about this at all. After all, Gwen originally possessed spider abilities, and spider telepathy makes it nearly impossible for her to get into danger. Furthermore, Gwen's originally constitution is extraordinary, coupled with the strengthening of the power of shadow, it is even stronger, and there is a group of shadow core with strong fighting ability, it can be said that the combat effectiveness is already very impressive. No matter how bad it is, Gwen masters the power of shadows, and also has the ability to enter the shadows similar to the shadow core. He can hide in the shadow kingdom, which is equivalent to having a safe house. And she can also emerge from other shadows, which is almost equivalent to a teleportation function. It can be said that as long as Gwen wants to run, no one can stop her. The enemies are nothing more than some normal gangsters, and even Kim Bin, a human being at an extreme level, can't stand against Gwen at all. Therefore, Li Shu basically doesn't have to worry about Gwen's safety. Gwen can basically give him continuous output of shock value. While Li Shu was thinking, ding, the doorbell rang. Well, his big breakfast has arrived. Li Shu said, come in. Soon, the waiter came in pushing the dining cart and pushed it to Li Shu's side. The waiter smiled politely, Sir, your breakfast has been delivered, please enjoy it. Li Shu nodded, Okay, thank you. The waiter Shu Shu Li opened and closed the door. Li Shu lifted the lids one by one to reveal the food inside. The fried noodles with pork paste are full of aroma, and the meat on it is big and big, which is very plump and full of weight. The three cage sauce meat buns, the bottom skin of the buns has a hint of sauce meat color, and even gravy oozes out, it looks very delicious. Still got more. Looking at these delicacies, Li Shu moved his index finger and was originally in a good mood. He had a blast at the food. Soon, these delicacies entered Li Shu's stomach and turned into his sense of happiness. After eating, Li Shu touched his full stomach with a smile on his face. This day is so comfortable. If you have money, leisure, ability, and immortality, you just need to enjoy it. As for the things he needs, others can help him earn them. 
After eating, he started flipping through his phone. Start looking for the next tool man. There are still six days, which should be enough for him to find a new tool man. Iron Man is actually a good tool man. However, the current Iron Man has not encountered any difficulties, and it is basically impossible to take other people's things. As for the Green Titan, it has not been seen for a long time, and it seems to be living in seclusion. He understood that this guy should have gone abroad to hide from General Ross. However, Li Xu didn't know the exact location of this guy, otherwise, he might be able to recruit the Green Titan as a worker. Li Xu continued to read. Soon, he was attracted by a message on INS. A netizen named Carl posted a blog saying that in the wilderness of New Mexico, a hammer fell from the sky and smashed a big hole. This hammer was extremely strange and very heavy. It was obviously only as long as a forearm, but no one in the area picked it up. Some people even drive a car and try to pull the hammer, but they can't do it. Below the text, a picture was also posted, which is the video of Pi Carla's hammer. The pickup truck that could easily pull several tons of cargo did not pull a small hammer. See here, Li Xu's eyes lit up. The next tool man seems to have already appeared. The other side, Viper Gang. The man stood in front of a window, looking at the pedestrians on the road outside. He is tall and straight, wearing a suit without the slightest wrinkle, and his leather shoes are polished, like a high-level white-collar worker on Wall Street. It's just that as soon as he opened his mouth, he broke this temperament, revealing a mouth full of fangs, giving people a sense of terror. This person is the leader of the Viper Gang, a waterbell snake, with a pair of sharp teeth that can easily bite through steel, and has an unparalleled bite force. And originally born with supernatural power, even some superheroes' power is not as great as him. Behind him, a group of men stood there. He said, did you find him? A group of subordinates shook their heads. One of his subordinates said, Boss, we found many places and turned his house upside down, but we couldn't find him. And, not only is he gone, but also his fat pig-like sister and a group of subordinates are also gone. I suspect that this guy ran away with your boss's stuff. He wants to take it for himself. Actually, at the beginning, I thought this kid had a rebellious face. I also said that this guy was unreliable. If you had listened to me. That subordinate has not finished speaking. With a snap, he received a loud slap. Blood flowed from the corner of his mouth in an instant. The water-bellied snake looked at each other coldly. You. He paused, teaching me to do things. The subordinate quickly lowered his head and shook his head. I'm sorry boss, I'm talking too much. A pair of ice-cold eyes of the water-bell snake swept over the group of subordinates. Keep looking for me, the metal in that guy's hand must be found for me. He walked back to the window and picked up a glass of whiskey with ice. He may have run away with my things, but it doesn't rule out that he was wiped out, along with his dozen or so people. So, check out the people who are related to him and have conflicts, and see if he has been in contact with anyone or offended anyone during the time he disappeared. He took a sip of cold whiskey and said in a low voice, I don't care what method you use, you must find that piece of metal for me. Yes, the subordinates replied in unison. Time flies. Two days passed. These two days. Gwen is basically fighting against hooligans, so the output is very small, about 1 or 200 shock points per day. In Li Xu's view, this is Gwen's normal state. After all, the objects that Spider-Man punishes are generally street gangsters, and occasionally deal with some super criminals. After all, it is impossible for super criminals to come out every day, make headlines every day, or make a big wave. In this regard, Li Xu is already very satisfied. After all, he has earned 40,000 shock points. These days, Li Xu started looking for a house. Although the hotel is nice, Li Xu prefers to buy one for himself or rent a house first. Maybe this is the oriental gene engraved in Li Xu's bones, after all, he wants a space of his own. However, I have not been able to find a satisfactory one. Either too expensive, or the decoration is too ugly, or the location is too remote. Compared with independent houses in the suburbs, Li Xu prefers high-level apartments or top-end residences in bustling cities, where you can see the prosperity of the world at a glance and are more popular. Living alone in an empty house, after all, I almost feel it. Li Xu was lying on the sofa, looking at the photos and videos of the sweet sent by the agent, and screening. 
while Li Xu was drinking milk tea while screaming. It was not peaceful outside. Hell's Kitchen, a community in the Manhattan area of Newtown. It is the darkest place in the busiest area, and it is the only slum in Manhattan, and it is very chaotic. Because it is close to the most prosperous area in the world, a large number of interests are intertwined in it, rich in gang tycoons, and it is basically the center of the underworld in New York City. Today, this underworld center is ruled by one person, and that is Jin Bing. This is also the reason why Jin Bing is known as the underground emperor of New York City, because he rules Hell's Kitchen. This is why Gwen intercepted a batch of firearms, but it caused huge amounts of sensation. Just because the person she cut off was Jin Bing. The top floor of a building in Hell's Kitchen. In front of French windows. A huge figure stood like a giant beast. That shiny bald head and huge figure are the symbols of the other party. It was Jin Bin. He looked at an open space in the bungalow area in the distance, and said, Say, can we catch this guy tonight? The subordinate next to him said, Don't worry, boss. We will definitely be able to catch her. Two fists are no match for four hands, not to mention we have more than four hands. No matter how strong the ghost spider is, it is impossible for us to be the opponent of our hundred brothers. Even if we use the crowd tactics, we can pile her up to death. Besides, it was an open space. There were no buildings for her to swing around. She wanted to escape, but she couldn't. What's more, we still have guns, more than 20 black muzzles pointed at her, do you think she dares to move? She dare not move. Even if she took our guns, she would only take two guns, one in each hand. There are only two guns, and there are more than 20 guns. How can she win us? With his index finger, he pointed to the open space vigorously, and his voice was sonorous and powerful, what will she win? The momentum of his subordinates is passionate, like a general who is pointing the country. His powerful voice echoed throughout the room. If others saw it, they would think that this was not Jin Bing's subordinate, but a partner of the same level. Jin glanced at his men. Snapped. A slap on the back of the subordinate's head. The subordinates felt dizzy for a while, and the whole person was swaying. Jin Bing withdrew his gaze, continued to look at the open space, and said indifferently, there are too many dramas. The subordinate shook his head and smiled obsequiously. Hee hee, the main reason is that the guns and ammunition you bought with huge sums of money will come back, boss. I am so happy that I can't control my emotions. He rubbed his hands and smiled. Don't worry, boss, we will definitely let this guy spit out our goods. With so much goods, she must be hiding somewhere. Jin Bin finally grinned, and he squeezed his cane tightly. If you eat anything from me, you have to spit it out. New York Police Department. Inside a conference room. A group of policemen sat below. On the stage, he is the top leader. Gwen's father, Commissioner George. George had a serious expression. According to the information we have so far, there is a big move at Jin Bin tonight. It seems that they probably found the ghost spider, and even found the location of the guns. This batch of firearms is huge, and there are even heavy-duty thermal weapons inside. So this batch of firearms must not fall into the hands of the gang. Otherwise, every bullet in the future may hit us. Hit the citizens of New City. So we must get this batch of firearms before Jin Bin. Or seize these weapons on the spot. There must be a tough battle tonight, you have to be prepared. Now, you go to check the flow of a large number of people at Jinbin right away. Find out where they are and where they are. He waved his hand, do it. Yes, the police officers said in unison, loudly. A bun of curry noodles. The two agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. are whispering. They are Black Widow and Phil Coulson. Phil Coulson said, according to the intelligence, there is a big move by Jin Bin. It is estimated that they have found the ghost spider. The higher authorities told us to track Jin Bin's actions, find the ghost spider, and persuade her to join the Avengers. He continued, usually ghost spiders are weird and hard to find. If you want to get in touch with her, you can't get in touch with her. This time will be our best chance to get in touch with her. Black Widow nodded slightly, understood. According to my information, more than a hundred people from Jinbo have gone to the wasteland that Hell's Kitchen is preparing to develop. She paused, presumably the ghost spider should have gone there too. Phil Coulson turned his head and looked aside, his eyes fell on a small fighter plane, like a shrunken B-2 bomber, triangular shape, full of sci-fi feel. 
He said, this time, we will be able to arrive at the scene soon by taking this fighter plane. There was a trace of confidence on his face, this fighter plane has the most advanced recognition function. By then, we will be above the sky, and we will be able to bring the entire wasteland into view, and then we will be able to easily locate the ghost spider and lock it on. Quote. At that time, once the ghost spider leaves, we can immediately step forward to intercept and communicate, and it is impossible to miss her. Unless she disappears in place. As he spoke, Phil Coulson grinned, revealing a row of white teeth. Those white teeth all show Phil Coulson's confidence. At this moment, the bracelet vibrated, and the figure of Nick Fury projected out. He said, how is the mission going? Phil Coulson had a serious expression. Don't worry, director, we have found the location of Jin Bin's big move, and go there immediately. The black corned egg looked indifferent, we must complete the task. Phil Coulson said to himself, don't worry. This time it will be absolutely successful. Black Braised Egg nodded, and the projection disappeared. Soon, the top of the warehouse opened, and a fighter jet shot out quickly and disappeared into the sky. In the center of the wasteland, there are a lot of reinforced concrete piled up. It seems that this wasteland is about to be developed. All around, overgrown with weeds. The grass can almost drown a person's waist. The middle reinforced concrete floor. Two hooded figures were trading sachets of white powder. One holds the powder and the other holds a roll of USD. Next to them, there were five or six people wearing hooded hip-hop pants, squatting aside, smoking and chatting. Suddenly, crash, a figure sprinted across the wasteland at an extremely fast speed, breaking through a large number of weeds and rushing towards the open space in the center of the wasteland. Who? Everyone suddenly looked in that direction. Whoosh. A figure jumped out of the grass, landed on the open space, and looked at the group of people. Seeing that figure, the scene burst into exclamation. Shet. It's a ghost spider. Fake. Why is she here? A group of people hurriedly took out their daggers from their pockets, all of them were stern. Don't come here. Otherwise, I will stab you to death. Fake. I'm a black belt in Taekwondo. Come here and I'll kill you. Gwen snorted. I have listened to these lines countless times, and my ears are getting calloused. Don't you hooligans have any new lines? You really don't have any creativity at all, no wonder you can only be young. As he spoke, he shook his head and sighed, this is the end of not studying, being uneducated. Hearing Gwen's words, the guys blushed instantly with anger. A soldier can be killed but not humiliated. Ah, you, you fool, you are so bullying. I hacked you to death. A group of people rushed towards Gwen. Gwen sniffed Chong's nose, and muttered, I'm finally going home to sleep. The last batch is here, and we'll call it a day after packing up. After speaking, she burst out. Three blows, five cuts and two cuts, several people were beaten to the ground and groaned in pain. Gwen clapped her little hands in satisfaction, call work. Go home and sleep. Leave the rest to the police. Just at this time. Clap clap. In the weeds not far away, there was a burst of applause. Gwen narrowed his eyes slightly and looked towards the past. A man stood up. As expected of a ghost spider, the skill is really good. Gwen frowned, who are you? The other party said, my boss is Jin Bing, today I want to get back his original things. The person who came was Jin Bin's right hand man, James Wesley. Gwen sneered, do you think you have a chance? He snapped his fingers. Crash. A large number of people protruded from the weeds, forming a double teaming trend against Gwen. There are shining machetes and iron rods in their hands. James spread his hands with a smile on his face, sorry, you are surrounded. On a building in the distance, Jin Bin and his men looked at the scene with binoculars. Seeing his own people stand up and surround Gwen, Jin Bin suddenly smiled. He said, the little ghost spider wants to fight with me for gold, it's really beyond self-control. The subordinate next to him said, ha ha ha, now things are back. In New City, the boss is the one who has the final say. Badlands. The wind blew, and the sea of grass seemed to be swaying like waves, with a clattering sound. Everyone stood in place, motionless, like a statue. The atmosphere at the scene seemed to have become extraordinarily dignified. The few hooligans on the ground trembled when they saw this posture, and they never expected to fall into such a big situation. 
These guys have nothing to do with Jin Bin and the others, they are just used by Jin Bin for fishing. Gwen remained motionless. She glanced at those people and chuckled. Do you think a group of rotten fish and rotten shrimps can stop me? If I want to, I can easily tear apart your encirclement. James shrugged. I have no doubt you can do this, but. He changed the topic. What if that is the case? Crash. Twenty or so people took out their pistols and pointed their black muzzles at Gwen. James put his hands in his trouser pockets, with a smile on his face, 20 guns are aimed at you. As long as you move, you will immediately become a sieve. So, do you dare to move? You dare not. James was confident, and Jerju said with his hands in his hands, hand over what you swallowed, or you will immediately become a hornet's nest. My brothers with guns are basically wanted criminals who have taken their lives. They really will kill me. James withdrew his gaze, looked down at the tie, and adjusted it while talking, looking extremely contemptuous of the other party. Tell me, where did you put such a large batch of guns and ammunition? The hooligan lying on the ground saw this scene, and his mind exploded. With so many guns pointed in their direction, and the bullets have no eyes, once they were fired, they would basically be buried with them. They are just a few young people, as for being caught in such a big situation being pointed at by more than 20 guns. What can they do? They don't deserve it. A guy knelt on the ground and howled, boss. We have nothing to do with this fool. Let us go. James glanced at him coldly. Shut up, or you'll blow your head off with one shot. Several hooligans completely collapsed. It's over, seeing so many guns and so many wanted criminals, they probably have to explain here. They didn't provoke anyone, and they just found a remote place to do some small business, they were extremely careful, for fear of causing trouble. In the end, I didn't expect that this kind of thing could be done in such a corner. There is simply no one left. The minions were shaking like chaff, and their hearts were full of despair. Facing so many firearms, Gwen didn't show a trace of panic on his face, and was extremely calm. Because the bullets of ordinary pistols can't hurt her at all. Unlike Spider-Man Peter, Ghost Spider-Gwen has a better life. It doesn't matter if Spider-Man has no money, so the first generation battle suit can only be made of ordinary fiber. As for Gwen, her father is the chief of the police station, and her mother is the director of a large hospital, which gives her access to more resources. Therefore, Gwen's first battle suit was made of super fiber, and it used a special engineering structure with cushioning force, which can not only resist ordinary swords but also resist the damage of ordinary bullets. Besides, even without a battle suit, she can quickly hide in the Shadow Kingdom. With her double strengthening speed, the opponent can't react at all. The corner of her mouth was slightly raised, want to know where the batch of guns and ammunition is? Okay, I'll tell you. After hearing Gwen's words, James smiled brightly, yes, ma'am, you are smart. You know how to assess the situation. There was a hint of a smile in Gwen's voice, it's here. James was taken aback when he heard this. He looked at the ground and asked with some uncertainty, you, have you hidden things here? He widened his eyes, is it such a coincidence? This happens to be the place where you hide your guns and ammunition. Gwen shook her slender index finger and said with a smile, no, no, no. It's not underground. She pointed to the direction behind James, and said, behind all of you. Hearing this, everyone suddenly turned around. In an instant, the dark and deep muzzles of the guns came into view. As for those with pistols, what they saw was not a deep muzzle. It's a circle of deep muzzles. The guns in this circle of muzzles all have a bulky gun body, carrying an unparalleled sense of oppression. That's Gatling. What James saw was not a muzzle, but a huge shell. That's an RPG bazooka. Full of the smell of destruction. For a moment, everyone froze and didn't dare to move at all. Jin Bing's subordinates all had turbulent waves in their hearts. When did these guys in fancy costumes show up? They heard nothing at all. They looked at the costume and recognized each other. Ninja. A ninja from a certain island. Possess powerful martial arts and sensitive agility. If it is these people, it seems reasonable to be elusive. Only, look at those ninjas with a gun in their hands. Some people even carried Gatling and rocket launchers. Everyone's mentality collapsed instantly. Fuck. Whose ninja has a gun? Still mentioning Gatling. Carrying a bazooka. 
In the movie, don't ninjas always hold knives and flying darts? With high martial arts skills and a gun, this is so bullying. They looked at the iron knife and iron rod in their hands. Jin Bing's subordinates were full of enthusiasm in their hearts. Gwen's chuckle sounded in James's ear, so, you dare to move. James's whole body is literally cracked. Looking at the bazooka full of destructive aura, he didn't dare to move at all. With a bitter expression on his face, he laughed dryly, don't dare to move. The few hooligans lying on the ground were stunned when they saw this scene, and their eyeballs almost fell out. They never expected that the situation would be reversed so much. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and support my channel.